Chapter 726 New Functions, Part 1, A Day Later, Chu Zan passed through yet another barrier and arrived at a barren land with thin spiritual energy. This was a remote corner of the heavenly sun world. Moreover, due to the thinness of the spiritual energy here, it was difficult to sense the great Tao. Therefore, the level of cultivators here were quite low, with the strongest being emperor realm cultivators. In a sense, it could be considered as the heavenly sun world's novice village. Chu Zan sighed. He felt like a max level boss in the novice village. He had fled to this remote place, billions of miles away from the chaos. No one would imagine that a transcendent Tao realm expert would hide in such a remote place, right? This section should be one of the most desolate and low-level areas in the heavenly sun world. The power of the barrier here was not too strong either. However, to the weak cultivators in this area, passing through the barrier was as difficult as ascending to the heavens. To the geniuses here, it was a disaster. They could have reached a higher realm, but they were sealed in this area. Most likely, the cultivators and living beings here did not know about the outside world, and likely believed that the barrier was the edge of the world. Chu Zan's figure moved and arrived at a small valley. There was a small valley with a radius of 30 miles. The ancient trees were verdant and the flowers were in full bloom. It was a pretty good place. It was just that there was some dark and foul aura mixed in with the spiritual energy here. Low-level cultivators who lived here would be prone to erosion, which would damage their cultivation foundation. In fact, over time, it was easy for their consciousness to be thrown into disarray. In this section, this valley could be considered a dangerous place. Chu Zan waved his hand, and the foul spiritual energy disappeared. The corpse of an emperor realm beast rotting on the ground was reduced to dust. Even the source of the filth was destroyed. Chu Zan landed on a small mountain in front of the valley. He looked at the system. Updating progress, 90%, 91%. The system was about to complete its update, and Chu Zan was waiting for it anxiously. The small valley here was not bad, and if he stayed in this section of the heavenly sun world, he could avoid the detection of strong experts. Updating progress, 99%, 100%. Finally, the system completed its update and restarted. You stayed at home for a hundred years, set a new record, created and implemented a grand plan, transcended the chaos, reached the heavenly sun world, and integrated your Tao path with yin and yang. You have transcended illusion and returned to reality. Chu Zan looked at the system's notification with raised eyebrows. He had already guessed the secret of yin and yang of the heavenly sun world and the chaos. However, what was this about transcending illusion? Was the chaos illusory? Was it fabricated? Now that he thought about it, the chaos did have some unusual aspects. It seemed to lack something. After entering the heavenly sun world, Chu Zan's feelings about this became stronger. It felt as if the heavenly sun world was the real world. However, he also felt that the heavenly sun world was incomplete. He believed that if the heavenly sun world and the chaos were united, they would form a complete world. The system update includes the following functions after restarting. 1. The derivation function. It can derive anything below the host's level. Derivation beyond that point will require the consumption of origin energy. Note. If you consume too much origin energy, it will affect your cultivation foundation. Please be careful. Second, the fate function, which can spy on the development of fate, suppress fate, and hide the host's own fate and karma. Third, you can shield and separate yourself from the transcendent laws and the world's laws. You cannot be spied on by all transcendent existences. Chu Zan looked at the system notification. The update included three new functions, of which the third one was especially useful to him at this juncture. It would relieve him of his worries of being traced and hunted down. With this function, no one would be able to derive or predict his location, even Tao's supreme realm experts. His sense of security had increased greatly. The derivation function was also very good. However, he had to keep in mind the system's warning regarding the consumption of origin energy. As for the fate function, it was also pretty good. Fate was extremely mysterious. Chu Zan had created the heavenly Tao in the chaos, so he understood the fate energy of the heavenly Tao like the back of his hand. He could also sense the general fate of the chaos, but could not completely grasp it. Chu Zan was sure that even Tao supreme realm experts and Tao supreme rulers could not predict the fate of those in the same realm, or even the fate of a large world. If they could, they would not have fallen for whatever scheme was created to trigger the great battle. The mystery of fate was difficult to predict. The strong could see the fate of the weak. Of course, there were some geniuses who were unique and special, which made it impossible for experts to read their fate. However, when one's strength reached a certain level, one would actually no longer be affected by the fate of things weaker than them. For example, when Chu Zan transcended the chaos, the fate of the chaos could no longer affect him. However, the fate of the heavenly sun world could affect him. He would need to reach a certain level in order to transcend that fate as well. When he did, he would no longer be affected by the fate of the heavenly sun world. Just like when he transcended the chaos, the fate energy would return to his body, and the outside world would no longer be able to interfere with his fate. Chapter 727 New Functions, Part 2, Chu Zan knew that he still had a long way to go. The system's fate function allowed him to control his own fate and not be affected by the outside world's fate. 
The system's stay at home function has been activated. You can designate an area as your home, cannot exceed 50 kilometers. You cannot leave during the function's active period. If you leave, your stay at home record will be erased. Every year, you'll be rewarded. The longer you stay, the more generous the reward. During the function's active period, you can't cultivate in seclusion and will have to live your life normally. After the system update, the reward for staying at home was now calculated in years. Moreover, he could not cultivate in seclusion during this period of time, he had to live a normal life. On the plus side, the size of his living area had expanded. Chu Zan looked at the valley. This was a very suitable residential area. After he completed the first stage before the system's update, he had become invincible within the chaos. Then, he had spent more than 10 million years working hard to transcend the chaos. In conclusion, he needed the system in order to get strong quickly. Chu Zan decided to stay in this small valley. The scarcity of spiritual energy here did not matter to him. He had plenty of treasures. If he used them, he could easily turn this small valley into a holy land for cultivation. Chu Zan landed in the valley. After observing the valley, Chu Zan did not immediately designate it as his residence. Instead, he began to transform the small valley. A small stream was flowing through the ancient forest in the valley. The source of the stream was an underground river that was redirected by Chu Zan. It flowed out from the middle of a cliff, creating a small waterfall. There was a small pond under the waterfall. After spending a little time transforming the small valley, Chu Zan confirmed the designation of this place as his residence. With a wave of his hand, a few ancient trees were uprooted, and in a short while, a few wooden houses were built. A fence surrounded the residential area, and with a wave of his hand, a few treasures disappeared into the ground. The spiritual energy in the area became richer. Of course, it would only increase gradually as opposed to suddenly in order to avoid attracting unnecessary attention. He would make it seem like the spiritual energy here was recovering. After all, the heavenly sun world had been severely damaged in the great battle. It would not be unusual for some places to suddenly show increased signs of recovery in life. To Chu Zan, as long as it did not attract the attention of experts, there would be no danger. While he was at it, he would also set up a concealment array in the small valley. Once the arrangements were complete, Chu Zan felt relieved and comfortable. He was sitting on a reclining chair in the courtyard residence. He allowed Su Shenner to leave the pocket dimension, as well as the heavenly spirit cat, the sky shaking golden rock, and the spirit devouring flower. Sir, where is this? Su Shenner looked at the residence in surprise. This is a section within the heavenly sun world. We'll be settling down here. Heavenly sun world? Su Shenner's eyes brightened. Seeing Chu Zan lying on the recliner, she understood. Seeing Chu Zan lying on the recliner, she understood that they were going to live quietly here for some time. The heavenly spirit cat strolled around the courtyard, while the spirit devouring flower had taken root. The sky shaking golden rock flew up to a big tree and perched itself on a branch. Chu Zan then released the four divine beasts. The white tiger ran to an ancient tree and lay down while comprehending the laws of the heavenly sun world. The black tortoise and the azure dragon chose to stay in the small pond. The vermilion bird joined the sky shaking golden rock on a branch of the ancient tree. The four divine beasts all shrunk their bodies as they tried to comprehend the great Tao of the heavenly sun world. Their next goal was to break through and reach the transcendent Tao realm. Su Shenner started to get busy. She made a pot of tea for Chu Zan and started to prepare the meal ingredients. It was time to cook. She had returned to the familiar days in the Chu family's courtyard back then. Chu Zan lay on the chair, leisurely and carefree, no longer cultivating. He raised his head and looked out of the valley. When he had entered this section of the heavenly sun world, he had sensed that there was a probing force which could detect the strength of living beings. It should be the ability of some treasure. Fortunately, the level of the treasure was too low, and could only probe the strength of living beings up to the heaven realm. Chu Zan was not bothered by it, and did not even need to prepare any countermeasures to avoid it. He also did not probe its source, he felt that he should not use his strength too much in such a low-level area. Otherwise, his future life would be less fun. Now, he was the max-level boss in this desolate section of the heavenly sun world. He looked at the system's new function. First, he tried to use the derivation function. Can you derive the origin of the chaos? The chaos was not simple, and Chu Zan attached great importance to it. Therefore, the first thing he wanted to know was how the chaos came to be. The derivation request far exceeds your level. You will need to consume 80% of your origin energy. Do you want to proceed? 80% of its origin energy. Chu Zan immediately cancelled the derivation request. Consuming 80% of his origin energy would not only damage his cultivation foundation, but would also reduce his lifespan. Furthermore, consuming large amounts of origin energy would make it impossible to replenish. Chu Zan naturally would not allow such a thing to happen. Can you simulate the great battle between the heavenly sun world and the chaos? What was the outcome? This derivation request far exceeds your level. It will consume half of your origin energy. Do you want to proceed? Chu Zan cancelled the derivation request once again. From the origin energy cost, he could already tell that the battle back then had been terrifying. 
Can you display the cultivation level of the strongest person in the heavenly sun world? Chu Zan asked a different question. He wanted to use the derivation function to obtain some useful information. Incidentally, he realized that he could also derive information from the system's estimate of origin energy consumption for each request. This derivation request has surpassed your level. You will need to consume 1% of your origin energy. Do you wish to proceed? Only 1%? It did not seem like much. However, 1% of his total origin energy was actually not a small amount. It would take a long time to replenish. Chu Zan did not proceed with the derivation request. He had already gotten his answer. In the heavenly sun world, there were experts that were much stronger than him. Was it a Tao creation realm expert, or did Tao supreme experts or Tao supreme rulers still exist? Chu Zan then took out Lai Tian's head. He did not wake Lai Tian up immediately. How much origin energy does it take to derive Lai Tian's peak strength? This derivation request exceeds your level. It will consume one ten thousandth of your origin energy. Chu Zan now had a better idea. Lai Tian had barely reached the Tao creation realm back then. If the derivation request only consumed one ten thousandth of his origin essence, extrapolating the numbers, the strongest expert in the heavenly sun world had definitely reached the Tao supreme realm. Chu Zan thought for a moment and tried again. How much origin energy does it take to derive the Tao supreme ruler realm? This derivation request far exceeds your realm. It will consume one tenth of your origin energy. At this point, Chu Zan was certain that the strongest person in the heavenly sun world was a Tao supreme realm expert. Chapter 728 Waking Lai Tian up after confirming that the strongest expert in the heavenly sun world was a Tao supreme realm expert, Chu Zan was even more determined to keep a low profile. As someone who emerged from the chaos, there would be countless dangers if his identity and background were exposed. Furthermore, since there was at least one Tao Supreme Realm Expert, there would naturally be Tao Creation Realm Experts, and more of them too. Chu Zan could not help but inwardly rejoice that there was no Tao Creation Realm Expert guarding the entrance to the Heavenly Sun World. Chu Zan sat on a chair, leisurely sipping his tea. He looked at Lai Tian. With a wave of his hand, he removed the seal and woke him up at the same time. Lai Tian opened his eyes and sensed the thin spiritual energy. The heavenly sun world is already in this state? He asked in shock. Just as he was about to check, Chu Zan stopped him. Don't mess around. If you're discovered, I'll be in trouble. Lai Tian was stunned. At this moment, he found himself in a small valley. The spiritual energy here was extremely thin, but it seemed to be increasing slowly. Furthermore, there was a concealment formation set up here, which should be Chu Zan's doing. How's the heavenly sun world doing? Lai Tian resisted the urge to use his spiritual sense to sweep the area. It's all right. Chu Zan then explained the general situation of the heavenly sun world to Lai Tian. You're hiding here? Lai Tian was stunned. Chu Zan was a transcendent Tao realm expert. Did he have to be so cautious? To think that an expert of his caliber would actually hide in such a remote corner. This place had clearly suffered a heavy blow. Not only was the spiritual energy thin, but even the great Tao was obscured here. This is the safest place. The heavenly sun world has at least one Tao supreme realm existence, and even though countless years have passed since the great battle, they are probably still cautious. Furthermore, most experts would be very curious about my unique situation. Once they discover you and me in the chaos, words will not suffice to save us. Lai Tian's expression also turned grave. He naturally did not think that Chu Zan was overthinking things. As a former Tao creation realm expert, how could these powerful experts not be tempted by the secrets of the ancient era? It's a good choice to hide here. Lai Tian's head was floating in the air as he nodded his head in agreement. Chu Zan looked at him and asked curiously, can you recover? It's difficult. Lai Tian sighed. Back then, my physical body was shattered. If someone had not protected me at the critical moment, I'm afraid I would have died. Even so, the Tao created by Lai Tian had also collapsed. His body had been eroded by a powerful force, so he could not recover his physical body. Only his head remained. However, at the very least, his injuries would not continue to worsen, and his head would not be destroyed. It was almost impossible for him to recover his physical body unless a strong expert eliminated the remaining power of the laws in his body. Chu Zan had not even reached the Tao creation realm, so he obviously did not have the ability to help. Since that was the case, he did not pursue the matter. Su Shenner then came out of one of the houses. Sir, he is? This is Lai Tian, a half-dead old monster. Don't worry too much about him. Chu Zan introduced him to her. This is my maidservant. Don't bully her, he added. Lai Tian sighed. Why would I lower myself to the same level as a little girl? Then, looking at Su Shenner, he expressed his bewilderment. Your maidservant has extraordinary talent. His head flew over and circled around Su Shenner. Su Shenner's face was filled with anxiety. No matter how one looked at it, having a head flying around her was a little scary. At such a young age, you have already reached this level. Amazing. Lai Tian sighed as he reminisced. He thought of that peerless figure. Supreme Moon. He did not know if she had died. Your maidservant has an extremely unique constitution. 
There was once a peerless beauty who was a Tao Supreme Realm expert who had the same constitution. If you don't mind, I can give your maidservant some guidance. Lai Tian asked Chu Zan, If you're willing, go ahead. Chu Zan raised an eyebrow. Lai Tian seemed to have some admiration for that person, which seemed to have transferred over to Su Shenard due to their similarities. Although he was now half crippled, he had once been a Tao Creation Realm expert, and had experience cultivating up to that level. There was naturally no problem for him to be guiding Su Shenner. Shenner, if you have any questions about cultivation in the future, you can also ask him for guidance. He was once a Tao Creation Realm expert. All right, sir. Su Shenner nodded her head. From her expression, it was obvious that she did not think much of Lai Tian. What could be better than Chu Zan's guidance? He put down the dishes and hesitated for a moment. Then, he looked at Lai Tian and asked, Do you want to eat some? Lai Tian looked down. He did not even have a body, so how was he going to digest that food? Forget it. If there are any medicinal pills or Tao fruits though, I can try them. He needed these treasures to recover his power. Chu Zan waved his hand and some Tao fruits flew out. I don't have many good things, so just make do with these. Lai Tian opened his mouth and swallowed them. Many thanks. He turned his head and looked for a place to rest. Chapter 729 A thousand years then, he paused. He looked at the sky-shaking golden rock and the vermilion bird on the tree with a dazed expression. Golden rock? Vermilion bird? Is there a problem? Chu Zan asked curiously. A look of reminiscence appeared on his face as he said, In my time, these two were already legendary existences. Of course, I'm not referring to their descendants. Back then, there were actually descendants of these two legendary existences in the heavenly sun world in the chaos, but their bloodline was somewhat impure. These two, other than being slightly weaker, have extremely pure bloodlines. If it wasn't for the fact that they're so weak, I would have mistaken them for the real thing. Chu Zan's interest was piqued. The sky-shaking golden rock and the vermilion bird were rewards from the system. He could not help but wonder if they were the legendary existences Lai Tian was talking about. He had originally thought that the vermilion bird, one of the four divine beasts of the nine zones, had disappeared because of the system. However, Chu Zan no longer thought that way. Ever since he had learned that the chaos was special, and that it had been destroyed in that great battle, he suspected that the four divine beasts of the nine zones were only a manifestation of their true origins. Their disappearance and reappearance thanks to the system was likely them returning to their true origins. Furthermore, the other three divine beasts were the same. Where did the first generation golden rock and vermilion bird go? Lai Tian stared at the golden rock and the vermilion bird. The more he looked at them, the more incredulous he felt. Why was their bloodline so pure? Even the vermilion bird king from his era did not have such a pure bloodline. Legend has it that the vermilion bird and the golden rock were Tao supreme rulers. They went to explore the void region and disappeared, Lai Tian replied. Chu Zan was deep in thought. When the golden rock, heavenly spirit cat and spirit devouring flower entered the heavenly sun world, they did not undergo any corrections. Although the four divine beasts did, the extent of the correction was not large. Was this due to having only part of their origin in the nine zones? Lai Tian looked around and saw the white tiger under the ancient tree. He was silent. He felt that Chu Zan was not simple. Could it be that all of the four divine beasts were with him? Of course, he did not think that it was the original four divine beasts. He only thought that these were direct descendants of the four divine beasts. He took a look at the heavenly spirit cat and found it familiar. It looked like a miniature version of the white tiger. I'm going to recuperate for a while. After Lai Tian finished speaking, he flew out of the small courtyard and went to the pond under the cliff. There, he saw the azure dragon and the black tortoise. This person's background is not simple. Chu Zan glanced at the vermilion bird, but did not use the derivation function to analyze its origin. Whether or not it was the first generation vermilion bird was not important. Why did so many Tao supreme rulers choose to explore the void region? Was there really nothing there, or did it hide some untold secrets about the world? Chu Zan did not think too much about it. He only needed to stay at home and grow stronger. There was still a long way to go before he became a Tao Supreme Ruler. His current goal was to break through and reach the Tao Creation Realm. Sitting at the table with Su Shenner, eating delicious food, he finally revisited the long-lost joys of life. He had been cultivating for more than 10 million years, and had been missing out on the finer things in life. After enjoying his meal, Chu Zan continued to relax in his chair. He squinted his eyes and tried to sense the origin Great Tao. The origin Great Tao was growing at a rather fast pace, and even though it was so far away and there was a law barrier separating it, he could still sense and control it. Chu Zan flipped his hand and the Heavenly Tao Talisman appeared in his hand. He observed the Heavenly Tao Talisman, and found that the Heavenly Tao was developing normally and was constantly improving. Chu Zan tried to contact Ding Yu and the others. However, he realized that even though he had the Heavenly Tao Talisman, he could not contact Ding Yu and the others. It was blocked by an unfathomable and transcendent law. The Heavenly Tao was still not strong enough, he then put the Heavenly Tao Talisman away. After observing the small valley for a while, he decided to live here. 
he could not just laze around on the chair and do nothing. He still had to do some things to kill time. He took out some seeds and created a hoe. He brought the hoe along to the valley to cultivate and plant some spiritual fruits and herbs to kill time and entertain himself. A thousand years passed in the blink of an eye. Chu Zan had been staying in the valley for a thousand years. He received a reward once a year and had received a thousand rewards. Most of them were cultivation rewards. The reward that was given once every century was relatively large, and the reward that was given once every millennium was even more generous. For a thousand years, Chu Zan didn't cultivate and lived an ordinary and leisurely life. Lai Tian was dumbfounded. How did a person manage to do daily chores like an ordinary farmer in a small valley every day? Was this really an expert who had transcended the Tao realm? He could not stand it. However, since he could not leave the valley, Lai Tian could only recuperate in seclusion. He had woken up three times in a thousand years, which was only to guide Su Shenner. The rest of the time, he was sleeping and cultivating. He was afraid that he would not be able to stand this boring life if he stayed awake. He wanted to leave the valley, but Chu Zan did not allow it. Therefore, this was the only way to pass the time. Within these thousand years, Su Shenner had broken through to the Holy Tao realm, which was equivalent to the Chaos Supreme Realm. Chu Zan lay on the recliner, took a sip of tea, and let out a long breath. His entire body was relaxed. He did not need to cultivate, and he could become stronger just by staying at home. This was what he wanted. He had finally broken through to the Tao creation realm after these thousand years. You've stayed at home for a thousand years. You've been low-key, diligent, and your life is full of fun and vigor. You have been rewarded with a breakthrough to the Tao creation realm. That was the reward for the thousand-year milestone. The Tao creation realm was a huge leap. The supreme laws within the three thousand masses of chaotic energy of creation in his body had been perfected. The Tao path that connected them had also been perfected, and supreme laws wrapped themselves around it. He had truly created his Tao. The supreme laws of the chaos were derived from the great Tao after the greater chaos was shattered. The great Tao of the nine zones was equivalent to the inferior version of that great Tao. The heavenly Tao was a great Tao that surpassed the great Tao of the nine zones, but was lacking in comparison to the great Tao of the greater chaos. Within these thousand years, the origin great Tao had also completed its transformation, and it was also a Tao creation. As such, Chu Zan was much stronger than other early stage Tao creation realm experts. The heavenly Tao was also evolving toward becoming a Tao creation. A thousand years in the heavenly sun world meant that a billion years had passed in the chaos. The two chaoses had already collided and fused. The supreme laws of the chaos had already long been devoured by the heavenly Tao, even before the two chaoses collided and fused. After the fusion of chaoses and the chaos calamity, the heavenly Tao started to infiltrate and devour the supreme laws of the other chaos. The chaos supreme realm experts of the other chaos naturally wanted to stop it, which resulted in many conflicts breaking out. During the chaos calamity, the chaos supreme realm experts of both sides had already begun to fight for the authority over the unified chaos. It was worth mentioning that Ding Yu and Chu Zan's other disciples had already reached the chaos supreme realm. However, it would still take them a long time to transcend the chaos. Moreover, since the heavenly Tao had not unified the two chaoses, they were unable to leave the chaos with their current strength. They would not be able to stay in the void region for very long anyway. Chapter 730 Yi Lingling, Part 1 it would likely take them more than 10,000 years, in heavenly sun world time, for them to transcend the chaos. Although they were talented, Chu Zan was not certain if they could be compared to the descendants and disciples of those Tao supreme realm experts. After all, those factions had been at this for countless years, and had likely accumulated a lot of knowledge, resources and techniques related to this matter. Even they would take more than 10,000 years to transcend the chaos, and it was extremely rare for someone to break through in a few thousand years. Chu Zan felt that if his disciples could transcend the chaos in a hundred thousand years, they would have already surpassed his expectations, as well as the geniuses of the heavenly sun world. Over the past one thousand years, the system's rewards were not only related to his cultivation, but also the growth of the origin great Tao, without which, it would not have grown so quickly. Other than that, there were also some treasures and techniques. He had reached the Tao creation realm in a thousand years. Compared to the slow growth of other Tao creation realm cultivators, Chu Zan could feel his strength increasing every day. His next goal was to break through to the Tao Supreme Realm within 10,000 years, which would give him a little confidence in dealing with matters. Chu Zan took out the Heavenly Tao Talisman. Once again, he tried to send a message to Ding Yu and the others in the chaos. The result was still a failure. Chu Zan was helpless and could only wait. He hoped that the system would reward him with an improvement in the strength of the Heavenly Tao at some point. He had to contact Ding Yu and the others before they transcended the chaos. Otherwise, rashly entering the Heavenly Sun world would be disastrous for them, and for him. It might even expose the heavenly Tao and the origin great Tao. Still, there was plenty of time, so Chu Zan was not in a hurry. When the 10,000-year milestone arrived, he should have broken through to the Tao Supreme Realm, and should be able to contact them. 
A thousand years in this desolate section was enough for many things to happen. Five hundred years ago, a powerful king emerged from this place and rose to power. He unified the region three hundred years ago and created the first unified empire, the Great Victory Empire. It ended the chaotic situation in this section that had been happening for a long time. Now, it was the only empire in this section, and countless sects could only bow their heads and obey the laws of the Great Victory Empire. Many of the sect's geniuses had entered the service of the Great Victory Empire. A hundred years ago, that king's strength had reached the peak, and he had no way to advance. Therefore, after passing the throne to the crown prince, he left. It was said that the founder of the empire had broken free from the restraints of the world and left it. The current king had been on the throne for a hundred years. The Great Victory Empire was at its peak, and the power of the imperial family ruled over everyone. However, the Heavenly Pavilion was an exception. The Heavenly Pavilion had a long history and had experienced ups and downs of this section. It had always stood tall and no one could shake it. Even the Great Victory Empire, which had unified the section, could not shake it. It was rumored that the founder of the Great Victory Empire had some sort of agreement with the Heavenly Pavilion, and that the reason why the Empire was able to unify the section was because the Heavenly Pavilion had secretly contributed a lot. In the imperial city of the Great Victory Empire, in front of the palace, there was a stone monument, on which there were three ranking lists. The Hundred Flowers ranking list recorded the hundred most talented and beautiful women in the world. However, in order to be able to enter the Hundred Flowers ranking, other than being beautiful, they had to have a special constitution and extraordinary cultivation talent. Then there was a list of the top 100 handsome men, with the same criteria as the first ranking list. Finally, the emperor ranking was for the top 100 emperor realm experts in this section. From ancient times until now, the ranking lists of the heavenly pavilion had always been authoritative and undisputable. There was no mistake. A hundred years ago, the number one on the emperor ranking list changed from the founder of the great victory empire to the ruler of one of the empire's cities, which was the younger brother of the founder. The second position was occupied by the current king. The third was one of the founding ministers, the Defender Duke. The imperial faction of the Great Victory Empire occupied the top three ranks on the list. At this moment, a group of cultivators had gathered in front of the monument. Third on the Hundred Flowers ranking, Yi Lingling? The Yi family's daughter? The Yi family of the Ten Great Families? Other than that Yi family, what other Yi family is there? I didn't expect the Yi family to have such a genius in this generation. This is not a good thing. A middle-aged man sneered and said, entering the hundred flowers ranking without enough background and strength is not a good thing. Don't forget what happened to her. Many people nodded in agreement, it's indeed not a good thing. A young man shook his head and sighed, the Marquis of Sword's son went after Yi Lingling and wanted to marry her. The Yi family could not handle the pressure and decided to offer her to him. Yi Lingling's parents objected and ran away with their daughter. In the end, the Marquis of Swords sent people to capture Yi Lingling. Yi Lingling's parents risked their lives to let their daughter escape, but they died in the process. He could not help but sigh. Then, someone asked, the Marquis of Swords' son is the tenth most handsome man in the world. He's a rare genius. Being a concubine is better than having one's family destroyed, right? The young man replied, you don't understand. Yi Lingling has the ethereal spiritual constitution. The Marquis of Swords' son wants to use her to refine a divine sword. The people present were silent. It was no wonder Yi Lingling's parents were so against it. Once Yi Lingling fell into their hands, not only would she become a toy, but she would also become a vessel for a divine sword. It would be a fate worse than death. Chapter 731 Yi Lingling, Part 2, The Marquis of Swords' Son is Really. The young man was furious. Shut up. Do you want to die? Someone's expression changed as he hurriedly berated the young man and shut his mouth. Although Yi Lingling has escaped, where can she go? Unless someone is willing to stand up for her, her fate is sealed. What are you thinking? Who would dare to offend the Marquis of Swords? Even a prince wouldn't offend the Marquis of Swords over something like this. The Marquis of Swords was a founding minister of the country. He was known as the number one swordsman in this section, and was ranked ninth of the emperor ranking. There were only a few people who were not afraid of the Marquis of Swords faction, but none of them were willing to become enemies with him over a woman. I'm afraid that Yi Lingling's fate will be the worst out of all of the beauties on the Hundred Flowers ranking list, someone sighed. This Hundred Flowers ranking list is evil, a warrior mumbled angrily, I don't know how many women have ended up in a miserable state because they got on the ranking. Many of them have lost their families. Everyone present was silent. The Hundred Flowers ranking had indeed brought disaster to many of the beautiful women. However, the rankings belonged to the Heavenly Pavilion. Even the Great Victory Empire could not do anything about them and could not interfere with their actions. The Heavenly Pavilion only published the rankings and watched the world rise and fall. They never interfered with the affairs of the world. It was also because of this that the forces in this section did not have much hostility towards the Heavenly Pavilion. Those who were hostile to the Heavenly Pavilion were probably victims of the ranking lists. However, who could shake the heavenly pavilion? A thousand years ago, a powerful emperor realm expert wanted to abolish the ranking lists and kill his way into the heavenly pavilion. 
In the end, his body was hung in public. Only then did everyone understand that the experts on the emperor ranking list were no match for the heavenly pavilion. There were even rumors that there was an expert beyond the emperor realm in the heavenly pavilion. Outside the valley, a figure in a sorry state staggered over. The young girl's hair was disheveled, her originally fair face was dirty, and her clothes were torn in a few places. Her bright eyes were filled with hatred and despair. Father, mother, I'm useless. I can't avenge you. Wan Jia. Even if I die, I won't let you have your way. Yi Lingling's despairing eyes were filled with determination. Looking at the valley not far away, she gritted his teeth and stumbled over step by step. This was a well-known dangerous zone. Anyone who entered this place would be contaminated by the foul spiritual energy. Yi Lingling knew that she would not be able to escape, and that even if she died, her body would be obtained by Wan Jia and be made into a tool for him to refine a divine sword. This was why she came to this dangerous zone. If she died here, her body would be contaminated by the foul spiritual energy, so Wan Jia's plan to use her body to refine a divine sword would be in vain. She only hated herself for not being able to take revenge. She also hated the heavenly pavilion for putting her on the hundred flowers ranking list, and even notified everyone of her ethereal spiritual constitution. It was because of this that disaster struck. However, no matter how much she hated them both, Yi Lingling knew that she could not take revenge. The Marquis of Swords was one of the founding ministers of the empire, and the forces he had at his disposal were immense. He was also known as the number one swordsman in the world, and was ranked ninth on the emperor ranking list. It was no doubt a fool's dream to seek revenge. The only thing she could do was to die here in the valley before the people who captured her arrived, so that her body would be contaminated and become unusable. She stumbled into the valley. Then, it was as if he had passed through an invisible barrier. Yi Lingling was dumbfounded by what she saw. How was this a dangerous zone? Taking a deep breath, she realized that the spiritual energy here was so dense that it was a hundred times stronger than the famous holy lands in the world. In the valley, there were all kinds of spiritual herbs and fruits that were planted in neat rows. She did not know most of them, but from the aura they exuded, they had to be high grade. They even seemed to be treasures that surpassed emperor grade. What was going on? Then, she spotted a small bush. Is that a tea bush? The leaves seemed to contain wondrous vitality and exuded an indescribable Tao aura. This was not a dangerous zone. This was a peerless land of treasures. Yi Lingling was so excited that tears were streaming down her face. There was hope for her revenge. If she cultivated in this place and relied on these heavenly resources, she would definitely be able to break through to the Emperor Realm. There was even hope of surpassing the Emperor Realm. Just as she was about to run forward excitedly, she suddenly realized that if the hunting team was following him, how could she protect these treasures? Would these treasures not all fall into their hands? No. All of them must be taken away, and what can't be taken away must be destroyed. I cannot let Wan Jia get even one of these treasures. Yi Lingling gritted her teeth and made a decision. After obtaining enough of these treasures, she would find a place to hide. As long as she avoided being captured, she would be able to buy enough time to cultivate and reach the Emperor Realm. This way, she would have a chance to take revenge. Even if it was a pity to destroy such treasures, she could not let Wan Jia get his hands on them. Yi Lingling rushed over to the tea bush first. The feeling that the tea leaves gave her was the most extraordinary. She had to act quickly and plunder as many other heavenly treasures as possible. At that moment, Yi Lingling only hated the fact that her storage bag was too small. If it could fit all of the treasures in this valley, she would not have to destroy these priceless things. Then, she raised his hand to pick the tea, but suddenly stopped. Her face was filled with shock. She looked around in disbelief. At this moment, she suddenly realized. These natural treasures seemed to have been planted by someone. They were arranged too neatly. Moreover, now that she was looking around, this place looked like a medicinal garden, which meant that it was not formed naturally. The valley had an owner. Could it be that a peerless expert was living in seclusion here? Thinking this, Yi Lingling retracted her hand that was about to pick the tea leaves and walked into the valley with a nervous heart. The most mysterious force in the world was none other than the heavenly pavilion. Could this be where their true headquarters were? Her heart was filled with apprehension, hatred, but also some hope. She hoped that this was the place where some peerless expert lived in seclusion, and not the heavenly pavilion sect. If so, then there would be hope for her revenge. In the small courtyard, Chu Zan sat on the recliner and looked toward the entrance of the valley. The valley was not a place that anyone could enter. Yi Lingling's every move was under observation. What a strong and special fate. From Chu Zan's perspective, Yi Lingling's fate was like a rainbow. Based on her fate, she would become stronger and stronger. Were it not for her strong and special fate, she would not have been able to enter the valley. Chu Zan had deliberately set up restrictions so that only those with great fate could enter. He also limited the age of those who could enter. This young girl's body was also quite special. There was a kind of ethereal and illusory aura about. She was not strong, and had only reached the middle stages of the profound realm. In terms of cultivation, her level of talent was average. Chu Zan could tell that the girl's cultivation technique was not compatible with her special constitution, and was even holding her back. 
It was because of this that her level of talent seemed ordinary. He watched as the young girl walked towards the small courtyard. Chu Zan frowned slightly, he actually did not recognize this special constitution. He sent a voice transmission to Lai Tian and asked him to come over. Lai Tian was a native of the Heavenly Sun World and a former Tao Creation Realm expert. Moreover, his identity and status back then were also extraordinary, and he was a somewhat famous expert. He should be able to identify this young girl's special constitution. Lai Tian appeared instantly. After all, this was the first time Chu Zan had woken him up. What did you call me for? What kind of special constitution is that? Chu Zan gestured toward Yi Linglin. Lai Tian turned his head around and looked at her. Eh? Is that the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution? He exclaimed in surprise. This desolate section actually produced a cultivator with the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution. How strange. Lai Tian's face was filled with surprise. Chapter 732 First Disciple in the Heavenly Sun World, Part 1. Supreme Ethereal Spiritual Constitution. This was the first time Chu Zan had heard of this name. He looked at Yi Lingling. The ethereal and illusory aura around her body was quite unique. It is a rare constitution in this world. As long as its owner doesn't die young, she will definitely become a Dao Supreme Expert. Lai Tian's expression turned solemn. Chu Zan was also shocked. Was the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution that terrifying? This was no small matter. This kind of constitution would be treasured by any faction, and they would do everything in their power to nurture and protect its owner. Once she develops, she will become a one-man army. Of course, if she was born in an ordinary faction, she would have to hide well. Otherwise, she would be targeted by enemies at all costs. Of course, those with this constitution are not easy to kill, especially if they manage to catch the eye of a powerful expert. After all, Almost every expert would be willing to take them in as disciples, Lai Tian said. Lai Tian's face revealed a look of reminiscence. In my era, there was a Tao supreme expert with the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution. She was magnificent. When Chu Zan saw Lai Tian's face, which was full of nostalgia and admiration. Old man, was she the woman of your dreams? Lai Tian gave a hollow laugh, but he did not deny it. I'm an old friend of hers. We've known each other since we were young, and often went on adventures together. Chu Zan could not help but suspect that this person was the expert who had protected Lai Tian and saved his life. Perhaps she was also Lai Tian's backer. Lai Tian looked at Yi Lingling, who was walking towards him, and said, Do you have any plans to take in a disciple? If you don't accept her, I want to take her in. Yes, I do. Yi Lingling's special constitution meant that she would become a Tao supreme expert in the future. How could Chu Zan let someone like that go? Using the system's fate function, Chu Zan could see that Yi Lingling's fate was getting stronger and stronger. He might be able to trigger the system's reward if he took in such a talented disciple. In the past, he had relied on taking in disciples, and obtaining the system's rewards from their achievements, to quickly improve his strength. Since Yi Lingling was here, there was no reason for him to reject her. Lai Tian was not surprised by this. No one would let go of such a talented disciple. I know a lot about the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution, and I also have the early stage cultivation method. It won't be a problem for me to help her cultivate her constitution up to the Dao Yuan realm. After opening the Dao path, Cultivation techniques were no longer the main focus. Instead, it was the comprehension of the Great Tao. I don't lack cultivation techniques. If you're willing, of course, I can also teach her. Chu Zan chuckled. If he accepted Yi Lingling as his disciple, the system would probably reward him with a cultivation technique that was compatible with the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution. Even if the system did not, given Chu Zan's current level, it was not difficult to create a cultivation technique that matched her special constitution. The Tao creation realm could even create a Tao, so what was a mere cultivation technique in comparison? Yi Lingling continued to walk forward toward the depths of the valley. The deeper she went, the more shocked she was. Traces of life could be seen everywhere. There were indeed people living in the valley. Did the other party notice her arrival? It was likely. Did the fact that she had yet to be expelled meant that the other party had acknowledged her presence here? Yi Lingling's heart was filled with apprehension and nervousness as she finally passed through an ancient forest. She saw a courtyard in front of her. There were a few ordinary-looking wooden houses in the courtyard. As she walked in, she saw a man lying on a recliner in the courtyard. From what she could tell, it seemed to be a young man. Of course, when one's cultivation reached a certain level, one's age couldn't be determined by one's appearance. Some emperor realm cultivators looked like youths. She carefully walked over to the entrance of the courtyard. Junior Yi Lingling greets Senior. Yi Lingling bowed nervously. Come in. Thank you, Senior. Yi Lingling heaved a sigh of relief. When she looked up, her face turned pale and she could not help but scream. Ah, she staggered back and almost fell to the ground. A head was floating in front of her, and was staring at her with its big eyes. This image was truly too shocking. Yi Lingling's face was pale and her eyes were filled with fear. A head without a body was floating in the air, it rolled its eyes. It was alive. 
What kind of evil demonic creature was this? Could it be that this valley was an evil place? Otherwise, why would there be such a demonic creature here? Even an emperor realm cultivator would not be able to survive with just a head remaining. If this was not a monster, then what was it? The corners of Chu Zan's mouth twitched, and he said unhappily, Old man, are you trying to scare the little girl to death? Lai Tian smiled awkwardly. Chapter 733 First Disciple in the Heavenly Sunworld, Part 2 This girl is a little too timid. Lai Tian flew further away and his head landed on the table. Yi Lingling's face was still pale as she walked into the courtyard, trembling. When she looked at the person on the chair, she discovered that he seemed to be a teenager who did not look much older than her. Of course, she did not really think so. The first thought that came to her mind was that this young man was an old monster. Su Shenner came out of the house and stood beside Chu Zan. Yi Lingling was in a sorry state. Her clothes were tattered, and her face was stained with mud and dirt. However, one could tell that she was a beautiful person. Could it be that Chu Zan was going to take in another maidservant? He should be taking in a disciple, right? Chu Zan looked at Yi Lingling. This girl had clearly encountered a great misfortune and had escaped to this place. He did not beat around the bush and straightforwardly asked, Are you willing to be my disciple? Yi Lingling fell to her knees. Disciple Yi Lingling greets master. There was no need to hesitate. Regardless of whether the person in front of her had bad intentions or not, she had no choice. This was her only chance at revenge. She was willing to pay any price as long as she could take revenge. Su Shenner heaved a sigh of relief in her heart. He was taking in a disciple, not a maidservant. She was happy to be the only maidservant, as it meant that her status was secure. Yi Lingling kowtowed to her master respectfully. You've taken in your first disciple in the heavenly sun world. Your disciple's fate is extraordinary, and she has the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution. You have been rewarded with the ethereal supreme technique, ethereal divine sword, and 10,000 years' worth of cultivation. Sure enough, after taking Yi Lingling as his disciple, Chu Zan received a reward from the system. The ethereal supreme technique was a cultivation technique that would allow Yi Lingling to reach the Tao supreme realm, and it was perfectly matched to her special constitution. Chu Zan was certain that even Lai Tian's cultivation technique could not compare to the one provided by the system. Other than the cultivation technique, there was also a divine sword, which was also for his disciple. The reward of 10,000 years worth of cultivation was what Chu Zan valued. After breaking through to the Tao creation realm, his strength was clearly improving at a much slower rate. After receiving the reward, his strength immediately had a significant increase. Chu Zan was extremely satisfied by this. He had been able to break through to the Tao creation realm in 1,000 years because of the cultivation boost rewards the system gave him, so if he wanted to break through to the Tao supreme stage within 10,000 years, he would naturally have to rely on the system's rewards again. After all, the system did not allow him to cultivate in seclusion during his stay at home duration. Very good. You are my tenth disciple. Rise, Chu Zan said gently. Yi Lingling was still prostrating herself on the ground, and she said with a choked voice, Master, I bear a blood grudge, so I would like to implore Master to seek justice on my behalf. You should take revenge personally. Only by killing your enemies will your restless Tao heart be soothed, and your cultivation path become smoother. Yi Lingling felt a gentle force suddenly appear and lift her to her feet. With your talent, you'll be able to get your revenge in a few years. Yi Lingling looked at Chu Zan and asked, Is my talent really that good? Although the Heavenly Pavilion said that I have the ethereal spiritual constitution, my talent and cultivation progress is lacking. Compared to the other peerless geniuses, who had already reached the spirit realm, she was the weakest. What bullshit is this? The ethereal spiritual constitution is trash. Lai Tian could not help but chime in. Yi Lingling's expression turned gloomy. The ethereal spiritual constitution was a trash constitution. Looking at the head on the table, she was full of curiosity. What kind of monster was this? Was it refined by master? No matter how she looked at it, her master did not seem to be someone from the evil path. Although the ethereal spiritual constitution can be cultivated to the Daoyuan realm, it's still a trash constitution, Lai Tian continued. Yi Lingling was a little confused. What was the Daoyuan realm? However, little girl, you don't have the ethereal spiritual constitution. You have the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution. Supreme ethereal spiritual constitution. Yi Lingling then said carefully, but the heavenly pavilion said that I have the ethereal spiritual constitution. Bah, the heavenly pavilion. So what? They are just ants, Lai Tian cursed. Maybe it was because he had held it in for too long. In front of Chu Zan, he had to behave, but that restriction did not apply in front of Yi Lingling. Furthermore, seeing her reminded him of his old friend. He treated Yi Lingling like his own junior sister. Yi Lingling's head was buzzing. The heavenly pavilion was an ant-like existence? They were the most mysterious and powerful force in the world. Where did this demonic creature get its confidence from? Lai Tian could tell what she was thinking. He rolled his eyes and said, Little girl, this world is so big. This place is just a small remote section of the world. Do you really think that this tiny place represents the whole world? 
Yi Lingling was stunned. You have to look further into the future. This piddling heavenly pavilion is just your stepping stone, Lai Tian continued. Chu Zan nodded in agreement. The old man is right. Your journey is not limited to this tiny section. Yi Lingling was shocked. This place was actually just a small section of the world? What do you mean, master? Chu Zan chuckled. Your current cultivation level is too low. Your goal is to improve your strength first. Don't be bothered by such things for the time being. Yi Lingling's face turned serious and she said seriously, Yes, master. She had yet to exact his revenge, so what did the vastness of the outside world have to do with her? Even if this place was just a small section, it was still a vast world to her. Lai Tian floated up again and circled around Yi Lingling. The more he looked at her, the more he liked her. He felt regretful that he could not take her in as a disciple. Yi Lingling was so nervous that her scalp was tingling. She looked at Chu Zan for help. Don't be afraid. This is Lai Tian. He used to be an expert, but he was crippled by someone. All that's left is his head, Chu Zan explained. This is my maidservant, Su Shenner. Yi Lingling heaved a sigh of relief. Thankfully, it was not a demonic creature. She bowed to Su Shenner and said, Yi Lingling greets Su, martial aunt. Rise, rise, Su Shanner said happily. Looking at Lai Tian, Yi Lingling could not help but ask, Senior Lai Tian, were you an emperor realm expert in the past? When Lai Tian heard this, his entire head spun around angrily and caught fire. Yi Lingling's face turned pale, it was too terrifying. His entire head was on fire, could it be that she had poked an old wound of his? Only his head was left, it was too tragic, could it be that he was injured by an expert from the heavenly pavilion? What bullshit emperor realm? They are all ants, I can kill millions of them by simply blowing at them. Lai Tian was very unhappy, he circled around Yi Lingling and said, little girl, this grandfather is. Pa. Before he could finish, he fell to the ground. The fire on his head was extinguished. His eyes were spinning around randomly, as if he was in a dazed state. Chu Zan retracted his hand and sneered. This Lai Tian fellow was not honest. Yi Lingling was his disciple. If she were to call him grandfather, would that not mean that Lai Tian was Chu Zan's senior? He was asking for a beating. Yi Lingling was stunned. Lai Tian was extremely shocked. He had not noticed Chu Zan's attack. No matter how heavily injured he was, he was once a Dao creation realm expert. Even now, his strength surpassed the average transcendent Dao realm expert. However, he had failed to sense anything. What did this mean? Chu Zan had already created his Dao, his talent was too terrifying. How long had it even been since he transcended the Dao realm? Only after a long while did Lai Tian float up unsteadily, he was still somewhat dizzy. It was a slip of the tongue, he said helplessly. Oh really? Chu Zan sneered. Lai Tian laughed hollowly and looked at Yi Lingling again, little girl. If you keep calling my disciple that, Chu Zan snorted. Lai Tian was speechless. Chapter 734 Lai Tian Dumbstruck, Part 1 Lai Tian was tired, little Yi, he said, remember this. The Emperor Realm is just the beginning of the cultivation path. In the eyes of true experts, they are no different from ants. You must have higher standards. Don't focus too much on the Emperor Realm. Yi Lingling was shocked. Emperor Realm experts were just ants? This was the pinnacle of the world they were talking about here. When she thought of this, she began to understand. I understand, Yi Lingling took a deep breath and said. Do you want me to teach her the cultivation method for the supreme ethereal spiritual constitution? Lai Tian looked at Chu Zan. How can your cultivation method be compared to mine? She's my disciple, so of course I'll teach her the cultivation technique, Chu Zan said lazily. Lai Tian rolled his eyes, he did not continue. As a Dao creation realm expert, it was easy for Chu Zan to create a cultivation technique suitable for her. Chu Zan looked at Yi Lingling and said, Today, I will teach you a cultivation technique that suits your special constitution. With it, you should be able to reach the Emperor Realm in three to five years. In the chaos, it was almost impossible to imagine someone breaking through to the Emperor Realm in three to five years. However, the Heavenly Sun world was different from the chaos, and the time flow in the two worlds were completely different. Of course, the two were not completely equal either, as the Great Tao of the Chaos and the Great Tao of the Heavenly Sun world were also different. For example, Emperor Realm cultivators could only live for a thousand years in the Heavenly Sun world. In the Chaos, the lifespan of Great Emperors was far longer. This was the result of the differences in the two Great Daos. Chu Zan pointed his finger and transmitted the technique into Yi Lingling's mind. Yi Lingling sensed that a mysterious and unspeakable technique had appeared in her consciousness, and immediately fell into a profound state of enlightenment. As she comprehended her cultivation technique, the ethereal and illusory aura around her body intensified. Lai Tian's face was filled with shock. Not only did Chu Zan's technique match her special constitution, but it was also extraordinary. He subconsciously glanced at Chu Zan. He realized that this young man was not a simple Dao creation realm expert. Half an hour later, Yi Lingling awoke from her state of enlightenment. 
With her current cultivation, she was naturally unable to fully comprehend the cultivation technique. However, as her cultivation level increased, she would continue to progress and comprehend more of it. This was an unimaginable cultivation technique. Yi Lingling's heart was filled with excitement. With this technique, she would have no problem taking revenge. She immediately knelt on the ground again. Many thanks, master. Now that you have the corresponding cultivation technique, I will bestow upon you a divine sword. With a wave of his hand, a divine sword appeared and floated in the air. The sword was ethereal and illusory, exuding an unfathomable aura. Lai Tian's eyes widened in shock. What was going on? This divine sword was actually a perfect fit for a supreme ethereal spiritual constitution cultivator. Although the divine sword was not very strong now, the potential of this sword was endless. It could continue to improve until it reached the Tao Supreme Realm. A Tao Supreme Divine Sword. This was something that only veteran Tao Supreme Realm cultivators would possess, as most of them would forge it when they first reached the Tao Supreme Realm. Only when they had cultivated for a long time within the Tao Supreme Realm would the divine weapon be strong enough to use as their primary weapon. The feeling this sword gave him was even more profound than the divine weapon that his old friend had. If Yi Lingling were to break through to the Tao Supreme Realm, this sword would be even more powerful than the divine weapon of his old friend. Moreover, Lai Tian felt that this sword would probably transform into a Tao Supreme Divine Weapon before Yi Lingling broke through to the Tao Supreme Realm. This was simply unimaginable. He looked at the calm Chu Zan. At this moment, he was in awe of this young man. He seemed to be covered in a layer of fog, full of mystery and unpredictability. Yi Lingling looked at the Divine Sword floating in the air with joy. She could sense that the Divine Sword was very compatible with her. It was as if it was born to be hers. Thank you, Master. Yi Lingling was extremely grateful. She walked forward and grabbed the hilt. In an instant, the divine sword disappeared and merged into her body. It was as if it had become one with her. Cultivate well. The stronger you are, the more powerful this sword will be, Chu Zan said. The ethereal divine sword was originally prepared for Yi Lingling. Although it was a high grade weapon, it was fully compatible with Yi Lingling despite her profound realm cultivation level. He could also use the divine sword, however, he would be unable to unleash its full power. Yes, Master, Yi Lingling replied affirmatively. After coming to the heavenly sun world, he accepted his first disciple. He was then rewarded with 10,000 years worth of cultivation. Chu Zan was very satisfied. He was full of expectations for this new disciple of his. He asked Su Shaner to bring Yi Lingling to wash up and change her clothes. Some of the houses in the courtyard were empty, so Yi Lingling could just choose one to live in. Chu Zan picked up his hoe and went out leisurely to manage the spiritual herbs and fruits he had planted. Lai Tian rolled his eyes. What was wrong with him? He was actually planting some spiritual herbs and fruits that were not of much use to him. When one's strength reached this level, what use would those spiritual herbs and fruits be? They only tasted good. Yi Lingling finished washing up and changed into a new set of clothes. She felt like she was still in a dream. Just a moment ago, she had lost her parents and had been running for her life in despair. The next moment, the bitterness was over, and she had become the disciple of an expert and obtained a powerful cultivation technique and a divine sword. Chapter 735 Lai Tian Dumbstruck, Part 2 Moreover, her clothes were extraordinary, and were woven from some extraordinary cloth. She had a feeling that even an emperor realm expert would not be able to hurt her while she was wearing these clothes. Martial Aunt Su, don't call me Martial Aunt. It makes me sound old. Call me sister. Su Shenner laughed. Sister Su, Master is, you'll know in the future. Sir is very, very powerful, Su Shenner said mysteriously. Since there was hope for her revenge, Yi Lingling began to cultivate diligently. Every morning, after paying respects to Chu Zan, she would cultivate endlessly. The spiritual energy in the valley was much more abundant than in the outside world, and with this suitable cultivation technique, Yi Lingling's cultivation progressed at lightning speed. The more she cultivated, the more Yi Lingling realized how powerful the cultivation technique Chu Zan gave her was. One day, Yi Lingling came to pay her respects to Chu Zan as per usual, but then realized that Chu Zan was not in the courtyard. In the past, every time she came to pay her respects to her master, her master would be sitting on his chair, leisurely and carefree. Lai Tian floated over. Yi Lingling was no longer afraid of him. Senior Lai Tian, Yi Lingling greeted him. Not bad. You've already reached the spirit realm, Lai Tian said as he circled around Yi Lingling. Your master is planting those things, Lai Tian said as he looked outside the courtyard. Yi Lingling was curious. Master was so powerful, why did he still plant those fruits and herbs? She now knew that these treasures were just ordinary ingredients to her master. Su Shenner often picked them to cook. Yi Lingling was still weak, so she could not eat much. She walked out of the courtyard and passed through the ancient forest. After that, she spotted her master planting a type of spiritual herb. Su Shenner was accompanying him while holding a white cat in her arms. Yi Lingling stepped forward to pay her respects. Master, please leave the task of planting these spiritual herbs to me. This is part of my daily life. 
I don't need you to do it for me. Yi Lingling could not understand why an expert like her master would live like an ordinary person. Perhaps she would only be able to understand her master's actions when she became stronger. Chu Zan looked at the spiritual herbs and said, Which do you want? Just pick anything you want. They're all ordinary items. He looked at Yi Lingling and continued, It's good to cultivate diligently. However, you must balance work and rest. You can't be too obsessed with one or the other, lest it become an obsession. I know you want to get your revenge as soon as possible. However, if you don't find balance, you will lose your direction after you get your revenge. Don't lose yourself. You need to remember that your enemies are very weak. They are just a stepping stone on your path of cultivation. Cultivate when you need to, and relax when you need to. Yi Lingling's expression changed. Then, she bowed and said, Thank you for your teachings, Master. Chu Zan waved his hoe and continued to plant the spiritual herbs. You don't have to be so formal. Relax and be lively. You're still young. It's enough that you acknowledge me as your master in your heart. There's no need for such formalities between us. Yi Lingling was touched and her eyes turned red. Master, I'll teach you sword Dao tomorrow. Chu Zan chuckled. Yes, yes. Yi Lingling nodded and smiled. The next day, Chu Zan began to teach Yi Lingling the standard techniques of his sect in the coming days. Escape techniques, aura concealment techniques, and other life and survival skills were all things that had to be learned if one were to become his disciple. Especially his escape techniques, which could be said to be unparalleled. Extreme moment speed techniques, aura concealment techniques, and even appearance and aura changing techniques were taught one by one. These were all essential. Lai Tian was dumbstruck. Was Chu Zan not taking it too far? Lai Tian had no doubt that with these techniques, the experience Chu Zan had imparted would allow Yi Ling to escape the pursuit of even a void realm expert. He even suspected that when Yi Lingling reached the truth realm, she would have been able to escape an emperor realm expert. It was simply unbelievable. Lai Tian even suspected that Chu Zan had created such an exquisite set of escape and survival techniques based on his many years of being hunted down. Not only that, but there were also all kinds of confusion formations. The creation and release of substitute puppets, and at some point, layers of shadows would burst out in an instant to cover the real body. Lai Tian was dazzled by the sight. There was no faction in the heavenly sun world that had such a comprehensive set of escape and survival techniques. Lai Tian even suspected that Chu Zan had managed to reach this level of strength thanks to these techniques. After teaching Yi Lingling the standard set of techniques, Chu Zan began to teach her the sword Dao. He was already very experienced in this regard, having already taught Ding Yu. Other than the sword Dao, he also taught her other offensive and defensive techniques. After all, Yi Lingling was not a genius who specialized in the sword Dao. Time flowed like a river. Chu Zan sat on the chair, leisurely and carefreely, and turned his head to look at the wooden house beside him. Yi Lingling was breaking through to the emperor realm. According to Lai Tian, in the heavenly sun world, breaking through from the profound realm to the emperor realm in three years was already a monstrous achievement. Furthermore, once she did, she would be nearly invincible within the same realm, especially when wielding the ethereal divine sword. Even as a first-level emperor realm cultivator, she should have no problem defeating the emperor realm cultivators in this desolate place. Of course, there was no guarantee. Although this place was remote, and the upper limit was not high, some geniuses might be able to figure out something new within the emperor realm. The longer one remained in the emperor realm, the deeper their cultivation foundation and insights would be. Therefore, Yi Lingling might still need to reach the third level or higher of the emperor realm to guarantee her safety. That being said, after breaking through to the emperor realm, it would not be long before Yi Lingling left the valley to seek revenge. It was up to her to choose when she wanted to exact her revenge. After taking revenge, it would not be long before she left this desolate place. The rise of an expert could not be achieved by just cultivating in seclusion. Every top expert had to kill their way up and step on countless experts' corpses before reaching the peak. Chu Zan was looking forward to Yi Lingling's journey in the Heavenly Sun world and her rise. Perhaps she would help him to trigger the system's reward. As the Heavenly Sun world had been divided into many small sections, if she tackled them in order of strength, she would not encounter an outrageously strong opponent. Yi Lingling sensed the power of the Emperor Realm after she broke through, and was extremely excited. In her soul, the ethereal divine sword seemed to be illusory, as if it had become one with her soul. Father, mother, your daughter will avenge you soon. The first level of the emperor realm was not enough. Yi Lingling's eyes were determined. She would leave the valley for revenge when she reached ninth level of the emperor realm. While she was at it, she would flip over the heavenly pavilion as well. And destroy those ranking lists. Since ancient times, how many people had been harmed because of these lists? How many people had lost their families because of this? The heavenly pavilion was mysterious, but Yi Lingling was not afraid. She believed that when she was a ninth level emperor realm cultivator, she would even kill a third level supreme realm expert. Even if the heavenly pavilion had a divine weapon, could it compare to her ethereal divine sword? She opened the door and went over to Chu Zan excitedly. Master, I've broken through. Hum, not bad. 
Chu Zong threw a pill into her mouth and took out a few treasures. Take these. Thank you, master. Yi Lingling accepted it happily. These treasures were all suitable for emperor realm experts. Lai Tian floated over. Little Yi, I have a few techniques suitable for the emperor realm. Do you want to learn them? Yi Lingling looked at Chu Zong. If the old man is willing to teach you, go ahead. Yes, I'm willing to learn. Yi Lingling nodded. Chapter 736 Yi Lingling's Revenge Part 1 A year later, Yi Lingling was already 9th level emperor realm cultivator. Master. Yi Lingling bowed respectfully in front of Chu Zong. Go and take your revenge. Chu Zong nodded. Master, after I've taken my revenge, I'll come back to serve you. Yi Lingling stood up and said. How are you going to take revenge? Chu Zong looked at her. I'll kill Wan Jia, destroy the Marquis of Swords faction, destroy the ranking lists in the Heavenly Pavilion, Yi Lingling replied. Chu Zan shook his head. The Heavenly Pavilion is trash. Although it can monitor the strength of living beings, you can avoid it with our sex or a concealment technique. Since it's for revenge, do it bit by bit, and thoroughly. Make your enemies feel despair and let them die with regret. Kill both their bodies and souls. Yi Lingling listened attentively, deep in thought. Lai Tian glanced at Chu Zan. This guy said it so casually, but it was obvious that he was also a ruthless person. Whoever became his enemy would probably end up in a worse state than death. Recently, he felt that Chu Zan was becoming more and more unpredictable. It seemed like his strength had increased by quite a bit, which shocked Lai Tian. Could one's cultivation level increase so quickly after reaching the Tao creation realm? It was simply unreasonable, he never saw this guy cultivating either. Every day, he would eat, sleep, plant some spiritual herbs and fruits, play with the cat in the rock, and occasionally the azure dragon. He was like an ordinary mortal, living a carefree life. He did not possess the demeanor of an expert at all. I understand, master. Yi Lingling was now thinking about how to take revenge, how to make her enemies feel utter despair and abject terror. Go ahead. Chu Zan waved his hand. Master, Linger will be back after taking her revenge. Yi Lingling turned around and left. Soon, a storm will descend upon the Great Victory Empire. Chu Zan looked at Yi Lingling's back and sighed. Lai Tian rolled his eyes. This guy was so powerful, yet still had such bad taste. In a small desolate place like this, what kind of storm would there be? In the imperial city of the Great Victory Empire, there were some cultivators gathered around the monument. One of the names had already been removed from the Hundred Flowers ranking list. Yi Lingling, who was ranked third on the Hundred Flowers ranking list, had disappeared four years ago. Disappearing meant death. Countless cultivators sighed. Such a beautiful woman had fallen just like that. Moreover, according to insider information, Yi Lingling did not die at the hands of the Marquis of Swords. Wan Jia did not manage to capture Yi Lingling, he did not even manage to get his hands on Yi Lingling's corpse. The plan to refine the Divine Sword was ruined. It was said that Wan Jia was so furious that he killed all of the cultivators who were in charge of capturing Yi Lingling. Yi Lingling's sudden death and the fact that Wan Jia did not manage to retrieve her body could only mean one thing. The other party had committed suicide in order to ruin Wan Jia's plan. Yi Lingling was ranked third on the Hundred Flowers ranking list, so it was only natural that she had many admirers. Some of the young and hot-blooded cultivators cursed the Marquis of Swords faction residents and loathed them. Some even tried to kill Wan Jia to avenge Yi Lingling. The outcome was self-evident. On the left side of the palace, there was an ancient pavilion, which looked dilapidated in comparison to the surrounding golden and resplendent buildings. However, no one dared to underestimate the forces within this ancient pavilion, and no one dared to enter. This was the heavenly pavilion. No one knew how many experts were inside. The number one expert on the Emperor Realm ranking list had tried to barge in, after which his body was hung up in public. Suddenly, a hunched old man walked out of a small room of the ancient pavilion. The old man's appearance attracted everyone's attention. They all made way for him. The rankings were changing? Which spots had been changed? The old man walked over to the monument, tore off the Hundred Flowers ranking list, took out a new one, and pasted it on the monument. The Hundred Flowers ranking list had changed? A new beauty? It instantly attracted the attention of all of the cultivators present. After the old man posted the list, he slowly returned to the ancient pavilion. The group of cultivators instantly surrounded the monument. The 100th rank did not change, they kept looking up. There were no changes. Then, when they saw the third rank. Everyone was stunned. The third rank on the Hundred Flowers ranking, Yi Lingling, Ethereal Spiritual Constitution, first level of the Void Realm. It was Yi Lingling. Had she not already died? The Heavenly Pavilion had already removed her name from the list, which meant that she had died. How did she suddenly reappear? Did the Heavenly Pavilion deliberately remove it? There was no other possibility. Could it be that the Heavenly Pavilion had removed her name from the list on purpose to create the illusion that Yi Lingling had passed away and give her a few years to grow? Why would the Heavenly Pavilion do this? Everyone was confused. Yi Lingling had reappeared as a first-level Void Realm cultivator. This was a huge increase in her strength. 
However, a first-level Void Realm expert was like an ant in front of the Marquis of Swords faction, and Wan Jia was bound to resume his pursuit. Chapter 737 Yi Lingling's Revenge, Part 2, In the Heavenly Pavilion, a figure whose true appearance could not be seen emerged. Yi Lingling. How did you avoid the Heaven Glimpse Board's monitoring? Could it be that there's a mysterious secret realm that can avoid its detection? Have someone go and ask her for the location of the secret realm. There must not be any place that can avoid the Heaven Glimpse Board. Below, a figure appeared. Yes, Pavilion Master. His figure moved and disappeared. He was a 7th level Emperor Realm Cultivator. The Pavilion Master's figure also disappeared. Somewhere in the Great Victory Empire, Yi Lingling stood on a mountain peak, looking in the direction of the Imperial City. She was waiting for someone to come. She had deliberately revealed the aura of a first-level Void Realm Cultivator to attract the Heavenly Pavilion's attention. Would it be an Emperor Realm Cultivator who came? Yi Lingling waited patiently. The first to arrive would definitely be the Heavenly Pavilion. Next would be Marquis of Swords faction, which were likely trying to track her down now. Would Wan Jia come in person? Yi Lingling did not know. Three days later, a figure appeared in the sky near the mountain peak. The person was dressed in a long black robe. Even though he had concealed his aura, he could not hide his presence from Yi Lingling. A seventh level Emperor Realm Cultivator, you're from the Heavenly Pavilion? The Cultivator from the Heavenly Pavilion was taken aback, his voice was hoarse. Little girl, you're quite smart. In that case, you should know why I came. What kind of conditions can your Heavenly Pavilion offer? Yi Lingling looked at him coldly. Junior, you don't have the qualifications to negotiate. Hand over the location of the secret realm. Hey, does the Heavenly Pavilion really think that they can do whatever they want? Yi Lingling sneered. If that's your attitude, then don't blame me for this. The black-robed man raised his hand and made a grabbing motion. A mere first-level Void Realm cultivator was like an ant in front of an Emperor Realm expert. He would just have to torture her consciousness and obtain the location of the secret realm. She was too young and too naive. Did she think that he could negotiate with the Heavenly Pavilion just because she had found a special secret realm? She probably wanted to use the secret realm as a bargaining chip in exchange for the Heavenly Pavilion's protection and aid in avenging her parents. Yi Lingling's eyes turned cold. She was just testing whether the Heavenly Pavilion would make concessions. This was to decide how she should treat the Heavenly Pavilion. The answer was self-evident. Without strength, there was no room for negotiation. There was a flash of light, and the black-robed man's hand disappeared. The black-robed man was stunned. It had happened so fast that he did not even have time to react. My hand. His heart was filled with shock as he hurriedly retreated. The aura of a seventh-level Emperor Realm expert erupted. He looked at Yi Lingling in shock. Yi Lingling was holding a sword in her hand. It was not the ethereal divine sword. She would not use that unless she encountered a tough enemy. It's time for the Heavenly Pavilion to disappear. Yi Lingling stepped forward. The black-robed man's face was filled with shock and disbelief. Emperor Realm expert? Moreover, she gave him an unfathomable feeling, and felt even more terrifying than the Pavilion Master. Then, he looked at the sword in her hand, a divine sword. He could not help but exclaim. This sword was even more amazing than the Heaven Glimpse board. What kind of opportunity did Yi Lingling obtain? In just a few short years, not only had she broken through to the Emperor Realm, but she also had such a powerful divine sword. How could such an opportunity exist in this world? If it did exist, how had the Heavenly Pavilion not discovered it? Escape. He had to escape. The black-robed man knew that he was no match for her. If he stayed here, he would die without a doubt. He had to rush back to the Heavenly Pavilion. He would report this to the Pavilion Master and ask the Pavilion Master to take everything from Yi Lingling. His body moved, turning into a black shadow as he tried to escape. However, it was futile. His escape technique was like a turtle crawling in Yi Lingling's eyes. Furthermore, it was extremely clumsy. It turned out that her master was right. This place was just a remote corner of the greater world. The black-robed man had only traveled less than a mile when he saw Yi Lingling in front of him, calmly waiting for his arrival. His expression changed drastically as he hurriedly changed directions and continued to flee. However, Yi Lingling always appeared in front of him again soundlessly. The escape technique of the Heavenly Pavilion was unparalleled in the world, yet he could not escape her. PFF. 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 The black robed man spat out three mouthfuls of blood essence and a blood red light enveloped him. His speed then increased explosively. In order to escape, he had used a forbidden technique. He hated Yi Lingling to the core. The price of using this forbidden technique was too great. Even if he used it for a short period of time, his cultivation foundation would be damaged and his level would drop. He might even fall to the first level of the Emperor Realm. Furthermore, there was no possibility of him recovering his strength. Shua, a ray of light suddenly appeared in front of him. The black-robed man could not avoid it at all and collided with it. PFF'd. His body was instantly torn apart, and the blood-red light disappeared, revealing his miserable body. Within his dazed eyes, he could not hide his fear. What was Yi Lingling's true strength? 
he had used a forbidden technique, but had still failed to escape. He knew that he was finished. The heavenly pavilion will not let you off. The black-robed man glared at the young girl in front of him with hatred. The heavenly pavilion won't let me go. I will make the heavenly pavilion disappear from this world, Yi Lingling sneered. The sword flashed, and the black-robed man was turned into ashes. His divine soul was also completely annihilated. Back at the mountain peak, Yi Lingling continued to wait. The Marquis of Swords faction should have already learned of her whereabouts, right? Would Wan Jia come in person? Yi Lingling's face revealed a cold smile. If he did, she would not kill Wan Jia immediately. She would tear apart the Marquis of Swords faction piece by piece and drown them in despair. Yi Lingling tightened her grip on her sword. The Marquis of Swords was regarded as the greatest sword cultivator in the world. She would kill him in front of Wan Jia. Three days later, two figures appeared. Truth Realm Cultivators. Wan Jia had learned his lesson from Yi Lingling's escape and was more cautious this time. It would be a piece of cake for two Truth Realm martial artists to capture a first-level Void Realm expert. As for whether there was an expert behind her, Wan Jia did not even take this into consideration. After all, no one would make an enemy of the Marquis of Swords faction. After the two Truth Realm cultivators arrived, they attacked without saying anything. As for why Yi Lingling looked like she was waiting for someone, it did not matter. The mission would be completed once she was captured. A sword flashed, and an arm fell off. The two martial artists were shocked. Emperor Realm. What? How could the Heavenly Pavilion make a mistake? Furthermore, how long had it even been? Even the founder of the Great Victory Empire could not have broken through and reached the Emperor Realm within such a short time, right? Shua. A head fell off. Yi Lingling looked at the remaining person. Do you want to die? She coldly asked. You'll spare me? You're nothing but an ant in my eyes. Does it matter if I spare you? Tell me. What's your condition? The other party asked through gritted teeth. You should know a lot about the Marquis of Swords faction and strongholds. Lead the way so that I can destroy them, Yi Lingling said calmly. You won't be able to defeat the Marquis of Swords. One more unrelated word out of you and you'll die. The cultivator immediately shut his mouth and turned to leave. Yi Lingling followed him unhurriedly. Don't even think about sending a message. The cultivator's forehead was covered in cold sweat. He was well aware that no trick he was capable of could escape an Emperor Realm expert's perception. This is one of the properties of the Marquis of Swords faction. They arrived at an estate in a city. All right, I'll destroy it. Boom. The estate was instantly destroyed. The cultivators in the city were all shocked. Chapter 738 Yi Lingling's Revenge Part 3 Yi Lingling had embarked on the path of revenge. She unhurried traveled around with that truth realm cultivator in tow, destroying the estates of the Marquis of Swords faction. Along the way, she forced the cultivators she captured to join the attack. The news spread, shocking the Great Victory Empire. In the Imperial City, Marquis of Swords Mansion, Wan Jia was dumbfounded, but also incensed. That day, two Emperor Realm experts walked out of the Marquis of Swords Mansion. However, not long after, one of the two Emperor Realm experts died and the other one was injured. The injured one joined the ranks of the Crusade against the Marquis of Swords faction. Some of the forces that were originally affiliated with the Marquis of Swords faction were also forced into action. Anyone could tell that Yi Lingling was definitely not as simple as she seemed. As a first level Void Realm cultivator, the fact that she could still maintain this momentum, meant that there was a powerful force supporting her. The first thing that came to many people's minds was the Heavenly Pavilion. After all, Yi Lingling's death was assumed based on the Heavenly Pavilion's ranking list. Yi Lingling's appearance was also made public due to the Heavenly Pavilion's ranking list. What other faction could be so strong anyway? No other faction would dare to act against the Marquis of Swords faction. The Imperial family of the Great Victory Empire had no reason to suppress the Marquis of Swords faction. Despite their losses, the Marquis of Swords faction did not take action for the time being. In the Heavenly Pavilion, a few figures appeared. They already knew that the black-robed man was already dead, but did not believe that Yi Lingling was the one who killed him. Rather, they attributed the man's death to the faction or force behind her. However, the Heaven Glimpse board did not discover any new or unfamiliar Emperor experts. This was unacceptable. The Heavenly Pavilion was the number one faction in this world. If an unknown expert or faction could avoid their surveillance, then it was a threat to them. Send a letter to the Marquis of Swords. Tell them that the Heavenly Pavilion is not behind Yi Lingling. Send out three pavilion guardians to act together with their forces. After the pavilion master gave the order, his figure disappeared again. The pavilion guardians were the most powerful guards of the Heavenly Pavilion. Each one was a ninth level Emperor Realm expert, and had mastered powerful cultivation techniques. In a one-on-one -on -one fight, they might be slightly inferior to the Marquis of Swords himself, but three of them working together would be able to kill him. Many forces were watching closely. This was the greatest upheaval since the founding of the Great Victory Empire, and involved one of their largest factions. Would the world's number one sword cultivator personally take action in the face of this crisis? 
In the imperial palace, the current king was sitting on a chair. He was looking at a piece of information. Summon the Gen King. Yes. A soft response came from the shadows of the hall. Half an hour later, a dignified old man walked into the hall. Imperial uncle, what do you think of this matter? The king of the Great Victory Empire asked directly. The Gen King was the number one expert on the emperor ranking list, and the younger brother of the founder of the Great Victory Empire. The Gen King sat down on the chair that had been prepared and said, you can just sit and watch what happens. And ignore the Marquis of Swords faction. The current king was surprised. The Marquis of Swords was a founding minister of the empire and one of its top experts. Emperor realm experts from the Heavenly Pavilion left the Imperial City and never returned, the Gen King said. Then, he added, the Heavenly Pavilion has already sent a letter to the Marquis of Swords. The pupils of the current king contracted as he mulled the matter over. Then let's sit and watch. The Heavenly Pavilion was a power that the Imperial family feared. Any Imperial power would not allow others to override their power. If the battle between these forces dragged down the Heavenly Pavilion, there might be opportunities for him to act against it. On that day, the current king of the Great Victory Empire began to make preparations to reap the benefits of the battle. He did not mind muddying the waters, or even helping Yi Lingling. As long as the Heavenly Pavilion could be weakened or destroyed, all cards were on the table. Even better, if they could control the Heavenly Pavilion and monitor the experts of the world, the Imperial family would be secure in their power for years to come. On this day, an old man walked out of the Marquis of Swords residence. The forces that had been paying attention to the situation were shocked. It was actually the head steward of the Marquis of Swords mansion who had personally taken action. He was a ninth-level Emperor Realm expert, and the second strongest expert in their faction. Apart from a few top forces, no one knew that apart from the head steward, the Heavenly Pavilion had also sent three pavilion guardians, which meant that a total of four ninth-level Emperor Realm experts were making a move. Yi Lingling headed towards the Imperial City. Along the way, she and the people she captured along the way kept destroying the estates of the Marquis of Swords, as a result, a number of the Marquis of Swords forces had already begun to withdraw. Yi Lingling did not seem to mind and continued to act according to plan, pushing forward toward the Marquis of Swords residence while waiting for their eventual counterattack. They were not far from the Imperial City when an old man appeared. The traitors must be killed. The old man immediately attacked and killed the people Yi Lingling had captured. Yi Lingling stood by and watched as the old man attacked. She had no intention to save them. After all, she wanted to destroy everyone from the Marquis of Swords faction. Chapter 739 Yi Lingling's Revenge, Part 4 After killing all the traitors, the old man looked at Yi Lingling. He frowned. He did not sense any experts nearby. Was the other party proficient in concealment techniques? However, if that expert was stronger than him, he was not afraid. After all, he was accompanied by the three pavilion guardians, who were waiting to take action. Little girl, ask the expert behind you to show himself. The old man stared at Yi Lingling coldly. Yi Lingling's eyes were filled with murderous intent. She then turned to look in a certain direction and said, Since you've come, why hide, pavilion guardians? Despite their numerical advantage, Yi Lingling was indifferent. The strength and cultivation techniques these so-called experts possessed was insignificant compared to what her master had taught her. Hearing Yi Lingling's words, the head steward was shocked. Could it be that she had achieved all of this with her own strength? How was that possible? How old was she? Was she really an emperor realm expert? Three figures appeared silently and, together with the head steward, they formed a formation that surrounded her. I didn't expect you to be relying on your own strength, one of them said coldly. Hand over the secret realm and join the heavenly pavilion. Not only will you live, but you'll also have a chance to take revenge, another pavilion guardian said. The expression of the head steward changed immediately, and he was ready to escape. Once Yi Lingling joined the heavenly pavilion, the Marquis of Swords faction would be in serious trouble. Yi Lingling sneered and said, is the heavenly pavilion worthy of patronage? The head steward heaved a sigh of relief. Since she had offended the heavenly pavilion, she was definitely going to die. Boom. The head steward and the three pavilion guardians made their moves. There were emperor realm cultivators watching from afar. They were greatly shocked. Yi Lingling was an emperor realm expert? How had she evaded the heavenly pavilion's detection? This was a huge opportunity. Their eyes were filled with greed. Every faction in the great victory empire would be tempted by any method that could be used to avoid the surveillance of the heavenly pavilion. Even the imperial family would not be able to resist this temptation. Furthermore, Yi Lingling was just one person. How could she overcome the siege of countless forces? The sword beams shot into the sky, and her terrifying sword intent wreaked havoc in all directions. Not long after the battle started, everything was over. Four heads flew up into the sky. The four ninth-level Emperor Realm experts had fallen, and their souls had been annihilated. This scene shocked all of the onlookers, it was too terrifying. Those four experts did not even have the strength to resist that attack. Even the Gen King, who occupied the first rank on the Emperor ranking list, was not this terrifying. Tell Wan Jia and the Marquis of Swords that the debt collector has arrived. 
Yi Lingling's cold voice reverberated through the sky. Then, she continued her inexorable advance toward the Imperial City. On this day, the news was sent back to the Imperial City, shocking everyone. Just what kind of opportunity did Yi Lingling obtain? At this moment, Wan Jia was in disbelief. He gritted his teeth and his eyes were filled with fear. How is this possible? How could that be asterisk TCH become so powerful? The Marquis of Swords sat on the chair, his whole body exuding an aura like a sharp sword. Father, what should we do? Let's ask His Majesty for help, Wan Jia said in a panic. Let's wait for more news. The Marquis of Swords' expression was grave. He was waiting for everyone's reaction. Yi Lingling definitely had obtained a great opportunity. Who would not be tempted? Even the Heavenly Pavilion and the Imperial family would be tempted. Right. Let's wait. Wan Jia calmed down a little. However, inside, he was still panicking. In the Heavenly Pavilion, experts gathered once again. It was the same in the Imperial Palace. Experts from all of the top forces had gathered. Everyone's eyes were on Yi Lingling. However, they did not make a move immediately. They were all watching. At present, the ones who felt the heat were the Marquis of Swords faction and the Heavenly Pavilion. Furthermore, judging from Yi Lingling's performance, her strength was beyond their imagination. If they failed to deal with her and she escaped, the consequences would be unimaginable. In the Imperial City, experts were constantly rushing over. The top forces all wanted to set up an inescapable net within the Imperial City. Many forces were watching the Imperial family's movements. However, surprisingly, the Imperial family did not do anything. An Emperor Realm expert from a minor faction took the lead. A hundred miles outside the Imperial City, Yi Lingling killed him with a single strike. She looked at the Imperial City. There were countless experts there, however, she was fearless. This trip was not just for revenge, but also for the sake of breaking through. She needed a battle to break through to the Supreme Realm. The upper limit of this remote section was the Emperor Realm, but it could not restrain Yi Lingling. The cultivation technique she cultivated was extremely powerful, and the valley had plenty of spiritual energy to fuel her breakthrough. She arrived at the Imperial City, and entered the Tiger's Den. They wanted to snatch her opportunity. Yi Lingling laughed coldly, she would bury them with their greed. When she stepped into the Imperial City, Wan Jia couldn't hide the fear in his eyes as he kept looking at his father. The Marquis of Swords was sitting cross-legged with his eyes closed and a sword placed horizontally on his knees. A figure descended, whose face could not be seen. The Marquis of Swords opened his eyes and asked, The Heavenly Pavilion's Pavilion Master? That's me. The Pavilion Master's voice was distorted, and it was impossible to tell if the Pavilion Master was male or female. Even the Pavilion Master's figure could not be seen clearly. If we lose this battle, can you save my son's life, Pavilion Master? The Imperial family had not expressed their stance, so he knew that his faction had been abandoned. I'll try my best. The Pavilion Master nodded. Many thanks. If the pavilion master could not save Wan Jia's life, then no one in the world could, he would die without a doubt. Wan Jia felt more and more desperate. The person he regarded as a vessel to refine a divine sword had actually forced him into a desperate situation. He regretted not mobilizing the full force available to him back then to deal with Yi Lingling. If he had been less careless, things would not have developed to this point. The Marquis of Swords stood up and walked out of his residence, standing outside the entrance and waiting quietly. Countless Emperor Realm experts were watching. The Marquis of Swords was the best sword cultivator in the world. He was a true top expert. Furthermore, he had the support of the Heavenly Pavilion. Some experts had even discovered that there were three other experts waiting to attack, who were even stronger than the Marquis of Swords. They had to be from the Heavenly Pavilion. Many people were shocked by the strength revealed by the Heavenly Pavilion. These experts were not on the ranking lists. In that case, how powerful was the mysterious Pavilion Master? Had the Pavilion Master surpassed the Emperor Realm? Many people looked at the ancient Pavilion. Just how many experts were hidden behind those walls? Would Yi Lingling's fortune fall into the hands of the Heavenly Pavilion? Chapter 740 Yi Lingling's Revenge, Part 5 Yi Lingling ignored the prying eyes of the experts and strolled over to the Marquis of Swords residence. There were many experts hiding in the surroundings, and almost all of them were ninth level Emperor Realm experts. She spotted the Marquis of Swords waiting outside the entrance. He was known as the number one sword cultivator in the world. However, Yi Lingling was a little disappointed. To others, he was indeed very powerful. To her though, he was nothing special. Looking into the residence, she saw a young man standing behind the Marquis of Swords. The son of the Marquis of Swords, Wan Jia. Yi Lingling's expression was cold. Since you're here, let's fight, the Marquis of Swords said indifferently. In this world, strength is everything. The strong can do whatever they want, so don't ask why we targeted you. You can only blame yourself for being special but weak. Yi Lingling looked at the Marquis of Swords, indeed, he was right. In this world, it was all about strength. However, the ranking lists published by the Heavenly Pavilion exacerbated this. Since ancient times, how many women had ended up in a miserable state because they were on the Hundred Flowers ranking without a strong background or strength? 
Of the women listed on the current hundred flowers ranking, there were already several who had become the playthings of various strong experts. The rules of this world were like this. Furthermore, no one could hold the heavenly pavilion accountable. All right, let's see how powerful the famous Marquis of Swords is, Yi Lingling said indifferently. Where's your sword? The Marquis of Swords already had his sword in hand. Why do I need a sword to kill you? Yi Lingling even had one hand behind her back. How arrogant. The Marquis of Swords was furious. Sword beams flashed and surged violently toward Yi Lingling. Everyone's eyes narrowed. The Marquis of Swords' fame was indeed well deserved. There were not many people present who could withstand this sword attack. Facing the sword beams, Yi Lingling's expression remained calm. She raised her right hand and put two fingers together. Pointing it at the Marquis of Swords, her sword intent condensed into tangible form and flew forward, shattering the Marquis of Swords' attack like a bubble. The surroundings turned completely silent. The Marquis of Swords was stunned. He had always believed that he had mastered the sword Dao. However, his belief was shattered in an instant. Peefed. He spat out a mouthful of blood and his entire body seemed to rapidly age. It was as if he had lost his spirit. Yi Lingling's mocking voice entered his ears. The number one sword cultivator in the world. You haven't even comprehended sword intent. What a joke. Peefed. The Marquis of Swords fell to the ground and spat out two more mouthfuls of blood. Behind him, Wan Jia was in despair. His father, who was his pillar of support, had actually been defeated so easily. Despair flooded his heart. Yi Lingling walked forward slowly and reached the Marquis of Sword, who was lying on the ground, exhausted and devastated. The experts from the Heavenly Pavilion were hesitating. Yi Lingling was too strong. The other Emperor Realm experts watching felt their hearts throb and their breathing quicken. The more powerful Yi Lingling was, the better and more extraordinary the opportunity she had received. They could barely contain their greed. Wan Jia, you killed my parents. Today, I want you to watch as the Marquis of Swords faction goes up in flames. Yi Lingling glared at Wan Jia, who was in utter despair. His eyes were filled with endless regret. Shua. One of the Marquis of Swords' arms fell off. At this moment, Marquis of Swords seemed to have lost his spirit and did not react at all. He seemed to be an empty husk of himself. Wan Jia staggered a few steps, his eyes full of despair and regret. He shook his head and suddenly shouted, Honorable Pavilion Master, quickly attack. Kill her, kill her. He screamed as if he had gone mad. Yi Lingling watched him go crazy in silence, and then calmly beheaded the Marquis of Swords head. The spurting blood instantly drenched Wan Jia's body. Bathe in your father's blood. Yi Lingling's beautiful face revealed a devilish smile. Wan Jia fell to the ground in fear. Don't kill me, don't kill me. I was wrong, I was wrong. Yi Lingling stretched out her hand and grabbed the Marquis of Swords' divine soul. This is your father's divine soul. It's currently dying, and it's all because of you. Ah. Wan Jia suddenly screamed madly. Spare me, spare me. He started to kowtow madly. His eyes were filled with fear. He was so scared that he peed his pants. The experts who were watching looked at Yi Lingling and felt a chill run down their spines. Should they make their move? Spare you? Yi Lingling extinguished the divine soul in her hand and stood in front of Wan Jia, looking down at him. Are you worthy of mercy? Chapter 741 The Heavenly Pavilion, Part 1 Shua Wan Jia's hand was separated from his body, turning into fine pieces of flesh and blood, which fell on his face. Blood spurted out from the wound and also landed on his body. Wan Jia screamed and cursed. His eyes were filled with fear and regret. Yi Lingling seemed to be completely immersed in torturing Wan Jia. At this moment, someone made a move. A figure appeared out of nowhere and a golden rope flew toward Yi Lingling to bind her. All sorts of formations and restrictions were also activated instantly. It was the heavenly pavilion. The mysterious pavilion master had actually personally made a move. Moreover, his strength was beyond imagination, and everyone could tell that he had surpassed the emperor realm. Furthermore, he was not alone, as a group of pavilion guardians attacked as well. In order to obtain Yi Lingling's opportunity, the Heavenly Pavilion had expended quite a bit of resources. From their perspective, no matter how strong Yi Lingling was, she was only an Emperor Realm cultivator. Some of the experts looked at each other and were ready to make a move. However, they all suppressed their impulses and waited for the best opportunity. I've been waiting for you. Yi Lingling's body exploded with a powerful aura as she unsheathed her sword. Sword intent surged and materialized into tangible form. The first swing of her sword cut the golden rope to pieces. The second swing broke the formations and restrictions were also instantly broken. The third swing was like a wave, sweeping in all directions, killing many of the pavilion guardians. The pavilion master was a second-level supreme realm cultivator. Even so, he still felt a strong sense of danger from Yi Lingling's attacks. His expression changed drastically, he realized that she was far stronger than he predicted. Moreover, the sword was actually of a higher grade than the heaven glimpse board. As soon as they started fighting, the pavilion master knew that the heavenly pavilion alone would not be able to handle her. 
Let's all attack together, the heavenly pavilion won't monopolize the opportunity. After the pavilion master spoke, the emperor realm experts who had been waiting joined the fray. They could tell that the heavenly pavilion would not be able to handle Yi Lingling, and were thus presented with two choices. They could either dispel the idea of snatching the opportunity, or join forces with the heavenly pavilion. However, in this remote section, when one's cultivation reached the peak of the emperor realm, there would be no further progress. Thus, the temptation of advancing further was far too great. In an instant, a dozen emperor realm experts attacked. They were all experts on the emperor ranking list. At this moment, only the imperial family of the great victory empire did not get involved. Yi Lingling was surrounded, and was also feeling pressured. However, she did not use the ethereal divine sword. Boom. The battle broke out, and in an instant, the Marquis of Swords' residence was razed to the ground. Yi Lingling swung her sword, and one of the Emperor Realm experts fell to the ground, severely injured. As she did so, she was almost hit by the Pavilion Master. More and more Emperor Realm experts joined in the battle. The scale of the battle grew larger and larger. When Yi Lingling saw that more and more buildings in the Imperial City were being destroyed, she moved and broke out of the encirclement. She made her way out of the Imperial City, and the Pavilion Master led the Emperor Realm experts in pursuit. Imperial family, are not going to make a move? The Pavilion Master's deep voice rang out. The current king stood above the Imperial Palace and watched the battle without issuing a response. Beside him was the Gen King. Imperial uncle, do you think the Heavenly Pavilion can win? Since they failed to succeed in the beginning, they will fail in the end, Gen King squinted his eyes and said. The Imperial family's Emperor Realm experts were tempted as well. However, none of them dared to make a move rashly without the permission of the current king and Gen King. Outside the Imperial City, the battle was intense. The Imperial family brought their forces to the city wall to observe the battle. Their forces were waiting for orders. Everyone knew that, today, the world was going to change. Yi Lingling was fighting dozens of Emperor Realm experts alone, including the second-level Supreme Realm Pavilion Master. One could imagine how great the pressure was. There were a few times when she fell into dangerous situations, but she still did not use the ethereal divine sword. Instead, she forced herself to continuously use all sorts of techniques, crushing the Emperor Realm experts. As the battle continued, the Emperor Realm experts were shocked to find how powerful Yi Lingling was. In fact, many people were already regretting their participation, however, backing out now was not an option. The pavilion master's face was extremely gloomy. Yi Lingling's power was beyond his imagination. Even though he knew that the imperial family of the Great Victory Empire wanted to reap the benefits without doing anything, he could not afford to divert any of his attention or power to deal with them. Boom. As the battle continued, all of the Emperor Realm experts started to use their trump cards to pressure Yi Lingling. Her sword intent surged out in waves, and her body was hidden within those waves. As the waves pulsated, they swept out toward the Emperor Realm experts, causing strong gusts of wind. These gusts of wind were laced with sword intent. The opportunity for a breakthrough had arrived. Yi Lingling took out a spiritual herb and swallowed it. Spiritual energy filled her body, and broke the barrier that had been holding her back. The pavilion master was shocked, she had broken through to the supreme realm? He was only able to break through because of the heavenly pavilion. He had once left this place and made a breakthrough in the outside world. However, Yi Lingling had a breakthrough here, now, the outcome of the battle was already decided. The current king and the Gen king tacitly left the city wall with their forces in tow. Moments later, they reached the ancient pavilion, and barged in unceremoniously. Shua. Yi Lingling did not show mercy after breaking through, and made quick work of all of the Emperor Realm experts. The pavilion master quickly fled to the Imperial City. Yi Lingling held her sword in her hand and pursued him at a leisurely pace. A battle had broken out in the ancient pavilion, infuriating the pavilion master. The Imperial family had indeed taken the opportunity to attack the heavenly pavilion. A mirror-like jade tablet appeared in his hand. A ray of light shone brightly, and array formations and restrictions were suddenly activated inside the ancient pavilion. After he did that, he rushed into the ancient pavilion. Yi Lingling looked at the ancient pavilion, which was covered in formations and restrictions. Inside, she could hear the faint sounds of fighting. She swung her sword. Boom. To her surprise, she was unable to break the formations. Frowning, she took out a small hammer, and hurled it at the ancient pavilion. Once the small hammer left her hand, it grew to the size of a small mountain, and started to crackle with lightning power. When it hit the ancient pavilion, it shattered the formations and restrictions. Putting away the hammer, she strolled inside. In the ancient pavilion, there were a few corpses lying on the ground. There were two severely injured people as well, and the pavilion master was busy operating a certain formation in the pavilion. He turned around in shock. How had she broken the formations so quickly? Yi Lingling took one step forward at a time, her killing intent was palpable. She said coldly, the heavenly pavilion ranking lists have caused countless disasters. After today, the heavenly pavilion will no longer exist. The pavilion master looked at Yi Lingling coldly and said, Do you really think that this is the true heavenly pavilion? 
Do you think that this remote place is the actual world? I'm just a pavilion master at the bottom rungs of the heavenly pavilion. You're seeking your own death by destroying this place's heavenly pavilion. Yi Lingling looked at him silently. So what? She already knew that this place was just a remote corner of the world. Apparently, the heavenly pavilion here was only a small branch of the larger organization, which was out of her expectations. Even so, she still wanted to destroy it. Thus, she swung her sword. The pavilion master's expression changed drastically, and the jade tablet in his hand lit up as he tried to block this attack. At the same time, a ray of light shot out of the jade tablet and entered Yi Lingling's body. Yi Lingling was shocked. She was unable to avoid or resist the light. Shua. In the end, the jade tablet failed to block the attack, and the pavilion master was slain. The jade tablet fell to the ground. Yi Lingling waved her hand and the jade tablet appeared in her hand. Chapter 742 The Heavenly Pavilion, Part 2 Was this jade tablet the legendary heaven glimpse board? Yi Lingling quickly examined her body, but she could not find where the ray of light that entered her body was. As such, she decided to leave the matter to her master. The jade tablet seemed to have dimmed a lot after shooting out the ray of light. There did not seem to be anything special about it, so she put it away and looked at the two injured people. One of them was the current king of the Great Victory Empire, while the other one was Gen King. If she had not arrived in time, they would have died at the hands of the pavilion master. Thank you for saving my life, Miss Yi, the king said gratefully. Even though he was the king of the empire, he still had to bow his head in front of a powerful expert like Yi Lingling who had single-handedly destroyed the mysterious and untouchable heavenly pavilion. Yi Lingling looked at him coldly, and then turned around and left. Since the imperial family had not made a move, she decided to spare them. The moment she stepped out of the pavilion, Yi Lingling suddenly stopped in her tracks. Since this world has been unified, the Great Victory Empire should maintain order and protect the peace. It should protect innocent cultivators and punish the evil ones. Otherwise, what's the point of establishing an empire? Just to monopolize the resources of this world. The king was stunned. He immediately said solemnly, Miss Yi, don't worry. Since the Great Victory Empire has unified the world, we will definitely maintain law and order. Previously, although we unified the world, we were powerless to act against the Heavenly Pavilion, as well as the secret collusion of various factions. However, Miss Yi has uprooted all of these factions, and solved the problem for us. We will definitely use this opportunity well to create a peaceful and lawful society. I hope you can keep your word, Yi Lingling said as she strode forward. You should know what to do with Wan Jia. The king was overjoyed. Miss Yi, don't worry. I'll definitely make Wan Jia regret what he has done and suffer the consequences. After this matter, the imperial family became the undisputed strongest faction in the world, and no one dared to stand in their way. Their choice not to intervene in the battle back then proved to be a wise choice. Had they given in to their greed, the great victory empire would likely have been destroyed. Chu Zan was not worried about Yi Lingling's revenge. Even if everyone in the great victory empire attacked her together, they would not be able to hurt her. The clothes she was wearing were extraordinary. It was just that Yi Lingling was ignorant of this fact. Besides, she also had plenty of defensive treasures. Lai Tian treated her as his personal disciple and had given her many treasures. Anything received from a former Dao creation realm expert would be extraordinary. Your disciple, Yi Lingling, has successfully taken revenge and changed the situation in this section. You have been rewarded with 10,000 years worth of cultivation. Chu Zan sat on the chair and drank some tea. The system's reward had arrived, and Chu Zan's strength had increased again, though it would still take quite some time before he broke through to the Dao supreme realm. I wonder how little Yi El is doing, Lai Tian floated over and said. Chu Zan could not be bothered to respond. There shouldn't be any accidents, right? There won't be any changes to the surveillance item you mentioned, right? Lai Tian nagged Ho. It was as if Yi Lingling was his daughter. Chu Zan was left speechless by this worried, nagging parent wannabe. Don't worry. What could have possibly happened? There are no real experts here. In order to avoid being detected by experts, Chu Zan did not allow Lai Tian to use his spiritual sense in this remote section. Therefore, Lai Tian could only hold it in, and flew away after rambling on a little more. Three days later, Yi Lingling returned. It seemed that she was in a hurry as well, as she was uneasy about that ray of light that she could not trace. When Yi Lingling returned, Lai Tian appeared. A. Eh. Lai Tian frowned when he saw Yi Lingling. Master, I'm back. Yi Lingling rushed into the courtyard. After taking her revenge, she felt much more relaxed. His mind was clear, and she had regained her lively attitude. Lai Tian circled around her and glared at her. In an instant, a ray of light flew out of Yi Lingling's body. Seeing this, Yi Lingling, who was about to tell Chu Zan about this matter, was stunned. The ray of light was a small rune that had a special aura. Chu Zan squinted his eyes. This rune was just a small trick left behind by a Daoyuan realm cultivator. It was a type of position and information tracing tool. Some forces would often leave similar runes on their disciples. If the disciple died, they would find the murderer and take revenge for the disciple by tracking the rune. 
Since the rune had appeared from Yi Lingling's body, it was obvious that something had happened. It seemed that the heavenly pavilion was a branch of some force from the heavenly sun world. Lai Tian was staring at the rune. Master. Yi Lingling took out the jade tablet and said, while I was destroying the heavenly pavilion, there was an accident. She then explained what had happened during the trip. It's only a small matter, Chu Zan said. Haptor 743 online. 743 The Heavenly Pavilion, Part 3, Chu Zan's eyes glowed. After making sure that there were no special marks on Yi Lingling's body, he said casually, this is a desolate place. Even if the Heavenly Pavilion had truly powerful experts within their ranks, they would not dispatch such experts to this place. Moreover, the Heavenly Pavilion might not be that strong. Yi Lingling heaved a sigh of relief. She was worried that she would offend a powerful force and implicate her master. Old man, what did you see? Chu Zan picked up the dim jade tablet and glanced at it. He then threw it on the table. Lai Tian had been looking at the rune. This rune reminds me of a certain power, Lai Tian muttered. Oh, tell me. Chu Zan was interested. A force that could attract Lai Tian's attention was definitely not weak. Lai Tian, at his peak, was an early stage Dao creation realm expert. The Wuxian Pavilion is said to have been created by a Dao Supreme Realm expert who possesses the Dao Supreme Artifact, the Wuxian Monument, which can monitor the origin, strength, and other powerful abilities of living beings. It's said that it can even monitor the Great Dao, and only those who have reached the Dao Supreme Realm can avoid its surveillance. It's extremely powerful. Lai Tian's expression was grave as he continued, the Wuxian Pavilion used to have branches all over the Heavenly Sun World. Each branch had a replica of the Wuxian Monument. Whoever destroys a branch of the Wuxian Pavilion will be tracked by runes and hunted down by the Wuxian Pavilion. Chu Zan raised his eyebrows. This Wuxian Pavilion sounded quite domineering. After hearing this, Yi Lingling started to feel uneasy. It seemed that she had caused a big problem. This rune must have been inherited from the Wuxian Pavilion, but it's incomplete. Lai Tian shook his head and destroyed the rune. He looked at the jade tablet on the table and said, This is also a replica of the Wuxian Monument, but it's a bad one that can't even remotely compare to the normal replicas. This so-called heavenly pavilion must have obtained some remnants of the inheritance of the Wuxian Pavilion. Chu Zan raised an eyebrow. Wuxian Pavilion was destroyed? Lai Tian had made it sound so powerful, but it had disappeared. Lai Tian sighed. Back then, the Wuxian Pavilion was also involved in the Great Battle. Although I did not witness the battle, I heard that the founder of the Wuxian Pavilion took the Wuxian Monument to the battle. In the end, the Wuxian Monument was broken and he died. In the conflicts that followed, the Wuxian Pavilion was completely destroyed. Since the Wuxian Pavilion had been destroyed, only part of its inheritance had survived. At most, this heavenly pavilion would only have a Dao Creator Realm expert, if even that. That's pretty much it. They obtained the remnants of the inheritance, and are far inferior to the actual Wuxian Pavilion. He looked at Yi Lingling and said, Little Yi, they are just an ant-like force. Destroying it means nothing. Don't worry. Really? Yi Lingling was still a little worried. Chu Zan smiled. Don't worry. I can easily handle something like this. Hearing this, Yi Lingling was completely relieved. As long as it was not a Dao Supreme Realm expert. Chu Zan was not afraid. After Yi Lingling returned from her revenge, she became much more lively and optimistic. Life returned to how it was before. Chu Zan would occasionally go to the garden and walk his cat, living an ordinary and leisurely life. Lai Tian continued his secluded cultivation. He could not stand living such a normal life. If he did not know how extraordinary Chu Zan was, he would have even suspected that the latter was an ordinary person. Ten years later, Yi Lingling broke through to the Heaven Realm. When a cultivator in the Heavenly Sun World broke through to the Heaven Realm, they would also face a tribulation, and they had to overcome it. When Yi Lingling broke through to the Heaven Realm, there were flames and lightning bolts in the sky. However, in the end, they did not strike her. It could not even detect Yi Lingling's presence. After Yi Lingling broke through to the Heaven Realm, she continued to cultivate and did not leave the valley. Chu Zan was not in a hurry. When she reached the Dao Realm, Yi Lingling would need to go out and gain experience to solidify her cultivation foundation and obtain insights to break through. No matter how monstrous her talent was, she could not always rely on secluded cultivation. The further one progressed, the slower one's cultivation speed would be. Soon, a hundred years had passed. Yi Lingling was already at the peak of the Divine Realm. She was only one step away from the Dao Realm. However, as the Great Dao was not visible here, Yi Lingling could not break through to the Dao state. Chu Zan and Lai Tian could actually help Yi Lingling comprehend the Great Dao, however, neither of them did that. Yi Lingling had to walk her own path, especially when it came to the Great Dao. He could only give her pointers and preach the Dao to her, but he could not help her comprehend the Great Dao directly. If that happened, Yi Lingling would comprehend his Dao instead of finding her own, and would limit her cultivation in the future to the Dao creation realm. Yi Lingling then left the valley again. The current Great Victory Empire was different from the past. It became more and more powerful. Moreover, there was a semblance of law and order now. 
However, the heavenly pavilion had been rebuilt and was once again high and mighty. The king of the Great Victory Empire was also helpless about this. Yi Lingling had already disappeared. Her enemy, Wan Jia, had long since suffered and died in regret. Naturally, he would not appear again. The king could only compromise and allow the heavenly pavilion to do their thing. Thankfully, the rest of the forces were under the jurisdiction of the imperial family. The heavenly pavilion was the same as always. They did not interfere with worldly affairs or conflicts between forces. The three ranking lists that had disappeared for a short time had only reappeared. If there were no accidents, even if the Great Victory Empire established law and order, there would still be people on the Hundred Flowers ranking list who would suffer. On this day, a beautiful figure appeared in the Imperial City. No one had noticed her. Even the Heavenly Pavilion's Heaven Glimpse Board, which monitored the world, did not notice the woman's arrival. As usual, many cultivators gathered around the stone monument and talked about the three ranking lists. The older cultivators talked about the battle more than a hundred years ago, when the three ranking lists in the Heavenly Pavilion were destroyed. Now that the Heavenly Pavilion had been rebuilt, that person had not appeared again. Many people thought that Yi Lingling had been killed by the Heavenly Pavilion. Yi Lingling looked at the stone monument and the three ranking lists. She heard the cultivators discussing that a beauty on the Hundred Flowers ranking had been separated from her lover and became the plaything of a young master from a noble family. She was even forced to serve some important guests. There were even some cultivators who were excited by this, saying that they wanted to curry favor with the young master of the noble family in order to obtain the opportunity to have a taste of the beauty from the Hundred Flowers ranking list. A sword beam appeared, and the stone monument instantly turned into fine powder. Yi Lingling's face was filled with anger as she looked at the building not far away. Since her master and senior Lai Tian both said that the Heavenly Pavilion was not worth mentioning, she naturally did not have to worry about provoking the Heavenly Pavilion. The surrounding cultivators were all shocked. Who dared to destroy the stone monument and antagonize the Heavenly Pavilion? Some of the older cultivators could not help but recall what happened a hundred years ago. Their bodies were trembling. The legendary woman had returned. As expected, a beautiful figure appeared in front of the Heavenly Pavilion. At this moment, a figure appeared in front of the Heavenly Pavilion. One of them was an old man who was a fifth-level Supreme Realm cultivator. He looked at Yi Lingling coldly with a jade tablet in his hand. You're the one who destroyed the Heavenly Pavilion back then. Yi Lingling stared at him coldly and said, the Heavenly Pavilion is a scourge. Today, it will be destroyed again. She swung her sword ruthlessly. The old man's expression changed drastically. He stood no chance whatsoever. Boom. The Heavenly Pavilion shattered instantly. The jade tablet flashed with a ray of light that shot toward Yi Lingling. Chapter 744 Another Thousand Years The Jade Tablet shot out a ray of light that headed straight for Yi Lingling. After the previous incident, Chu Zan and Lai Tian had made some preparations for this, and her clothes now had the ability to block the runes. Therefore, when the ray of light appeared, the Dao Aura infused into the clothes were activated, and the ray of light disappeared. After Yi Lingling killed the new pavilion master, she also broke the Jade Tablet. She did not leave immediately, but began to set up restrictions and formations where the heavenly pavilion once stood, as well as around it. Unless a Tao realm cultivator came, anyone the Heavenly Pavilion sent to re-establish it would be killed by these formations and restrictions. Furthermore, it was unlikely that the Heavenly Pavilion would send Tao realm and above cultivators to such a desolate place. After finishing all this, Yi Lingling left the Heavenly Pavilion, only to find the King of the Great Victory Empire waiting for her respectfully. Greetings, Senior, after this incident, he felt that Yi Lingling was truly unfathomable. She had not shown herself for more than a hundred years, so he had believed her to be dead. However, the moment she showed up again, she immediately destroyed the heavenly pavilion again. The mountain that had been weighing the imperial family down had been crushed once again. I've set up some formations and restrictions here, Yi Lingling said. She did not want random people to be killed by these formations, so she told him about it. In any case, the king had listened to her and established law and order in the empire to a certain extent. At least compared to a century ago, the lives of weaker cultivators were slightly better. Got it, senior. The king immediately took note of this and understood her intentions. Yi Lingling did not stick around and left immediately. Over the next few years, Yi Lingling traveled around this desolate corner of the Heavenly Sun world. When she returned to the valley, she was already on the verge of reaching the Tao realm. It's time to leave this place, Chu Zan looked at Yi Lingling and said. Master, Chu Zan interrupted her, I've already taught you what I should. You have to walk your own path in the future. Only by walking your own path can you reach my current level. Yi Lingling took a deep breath and said, I understand, master. Before you leave, I will give you a few words of advice. Be careful in everything you do. Unless it's a life or death situation, don't reveal your full strength. Always maintain some hidden trump cards. People's hearts are sinister, so you must be wary of others. The more modest someone is on the surface, the more likely they are scum. Chu Zan solemnly warned her of many things. Yes, master, I understand. 
Lai Tian sighed. His eyes were also filled with reluctance. Little Yi, I'll give you some advice and information too. He was an expert of the Heavenly Sun World, and he had fought his way up back then. Therefore, his understanding of the Heavenly Sun World was greater than Xu Zan's. Next, Lai Tian imparted some of his experiences in the Heavenly Sun World, and Su Shenner also gave her some helpful tips. In the end, Yi Lingling kowtowed three times to Chu Zan respectfully and left with red eyes. With her current strength, it was not difficult for her to pass through the barrier between sections. After leaving this place and passing through a barrier, she entered a different section. Although the upper limit of this section was a little higher, the Divine Realm was the peak here, so she had to continue her journey. After Yi Lingling left, Lai Tian moped around for a few days before falling into a state of deep sleep. Chu Zan, on the other hand, was looking forward to when Yi Lingling would be able to trigger the system's rewards again. Soon, another thousand years passed. Chu Zan's strength had increased greatly, and he even had a few more Dao Supreme Divine Weapons. The second millennium's milestone reward was a Dao Supreme Ruler's Divine Artifact. Over the past thousand years, Lai Tian had only woken up twice, and had stayed awake very briefly both times. The first time was 500 years ago, when Yi Lingling came back. Chu Zan was a little regretful that Yi Lingling had yet to trigger the system's rewards. Perhaps it was because she was too weak, or perhaps it was because nothing major happened around her yet. Yi Lingling had already reached the Daoyuan realm. Her unique constitution had allowed her cultivation to progress rapidly. Incidentally, the Heavenly Pavilion had set up branches in the sections she had visited. Since she was at odds with them, she often came into conflict with them, and had also been targeted by the experts of the Heavenly Pavilion. Over the past thousand years, the Great Victory Empire had become stronger and stronger. The Heavenly Pavilion had sent more people to set up a branch, but they all died to the formations and restrictions. In the end, they gave up. This place was too remote and not worth sending true experts over. There was no need to send people to their deaths. There were some geniuses from the Great Victory Empire, but none of them caught Chu Zan's eye, so he did not take them as his disciples. Chu Zan sat on a chair, eating Su Shenner's desserts and drinking tea, leisurely. He was already used to such a life. Even after a thousand years, he did not find it boring. He would just have to accept another disciple at some point. The more talented the disciple was, the higher the chances of the disciple triggering the system's rewards. Suddenly, Chu Zan raised his head and looked into the distance. Boom. Someone had passed through the energy barrier that separated this place from the outside world, and a sorry figure flew toward the valley. Chapter 745 Shui Ping, Part 1 It was a young man covered in blood, he was severely injured. This young man was a third-level Heaven Realm cultivator. When he had been about to reach the sky above the valley, he was already on the verge of collapsing. Peefed. In the sky above the valley, he spurted out a mouthful of blood and fell unconscious, falling directly into the valley. Another faded person. Chu Zan's eyes brightened. Finally, a disciple had come. One could see that the young man's fate energy was like a cloud surrounding him. Furthermore, it seemed to be endless. Chu Zan ignored the young man. He would not die anyway. When he woke up, he would naturally find his way to the small courtyard. The young man fell into a medicinal garden, crushing some spiritual plants in the process. The essence of the crushed spiritual herbs and fruits seeped into the young man's body, healing his injuries, and also strengthening him. Shui Ping felt his entire body heating up, as if he suddenly had an endless amount of energy. He felt that his body could no longer bear it, and it was as if he was about to explode from the tremendous amount of energy. He suddenly sat up, and looked around, completely stunned. Not only had his heavy injuries been healed, but he had also broken through a minor realm. What was even more terrifying was that there was a huge amount of spiritual energy in his body. He could not be bothered to check where he was, and hurriedly activated his cultivation technique to refine the spiritual energy in his body. Had he woken up a little later, he would have exploded. As he refined the spiritual energy, he began to break through again. Within a short while, he broke through to the fifth level of Heaven Realm. This was a level that Shui Ping had never even dared to think about before. Furthermore, there was still plenty of spiritual energy remaining in his body. At this moment, Shui Ping only hated the fact that his cultivation technique was not powerful enough, which was slowing down the speed at which he refined the spiritual energy. Gritting his teeth, he frantically pushed his cultivation technique to its limits. A day later, he had reached the seventh level Heaven Realm. However, Shui Ping was no longer excited, he was afraid. The spiritual energy in his body was still accumulating at a terrifying rate, and his body felt like it was expanding. Fortunately, after breaking through to the seventh level of the Heaven Realm, his body was no longer in danger of exploding. He continued to cultivate. Another day passed, and he broke through to the eighth level of Heaven Realm. In such a short time, his strength had soared, but Shui Ping was not happy. He could feel that his cultivation foundation was weak after this series of breakthroughs, and his combat strength was not on par with an actual eighth level Heaven Realm cultivator. He only had the combat strength of an ordinary 5th level Heaven Realm cultivator. 
Next, he would need to spend some time to solidify his cultivation foundation and master his newfound strength. He finally had the time to observe his surroundings. Once he did, he was utterly shocked. Had he come to a treasured land? As far as his eye could see, there were heavenly treasures and resources. The leaves of each spiritual plant exuded Dao aura. Even the Dao Yuan realm experts would be envious of his discovery. Shui Ping's breathing grew heavy. He then looked down at the spiritual fruits and herbs he had smashed. The essence had seeped into his body, which was what had allowed him to break through so quickly. What a great opportunity! Shui Ping was so excited that he could hardly calm himself down. With so many heavenly treasures, he would have no problem reaching the Dao Yuan realm. Just you wait. Shui Ping's expression then transformed into one of hatred. Sooner or later, he would regain his lost dignity. Suddenly, he looked at the treasures around him, and his heart skipped a beat. These spiritual plants were planted by someone. This was someone's medicinal garden. Could it be a large sect? How could a sect that could cultivate such a precious medicinal garden be ordinary? This sect was definitely extremely powerful. Shui Ping started to worry. He had destroyed some of the spiritual plants and absorbed their essence. Once it was discovered, he would have to pay compensation, right? How could he afford it? Would he have to pay with his life? Shui Ping felt that his level of talent was only average, so he was definitely not qualified to become a disciple of a large sect like this. Escape? Shui Ping struggled, but in the end, he gritted his teeth and walked into the valley. It was impossible to escape, he had his sense of dignity too. After passing through an ancient forest, he saw a small courtyard. There were a few ordinary wooden houses. A, it was not a big sect? Could it be a place where experts lived in seclusion? Shui Ping walked into the courtyard and saw a figure lying on a chair. Junior Shui Ping pays his respects to Senior. Shui Ping bowed respectfully outside the courtyard. There was an accident, and I destroyed Senior's spiritual plants. Come in, Chu Zan said with a yawn. Shui Ping walked into the courtyard nervously. He sneaked a glance at the person on the chair, it was a handsome young man. Of course, he did not think that this person was really a young man. He was probably an old monster who had changed his appearance. Please forgive me, Senior. I'm willing to compensate you for your spiritual plants. Shui Ping felt his hair stand on end as Chu Zong glanced at him. Chu Zong was a little confused. Shui Ping's fate energy was strong, and he looked like a protagonist. However, his level of talent was only above average. However, upon closer inspection, one would discover that there was something special about it. Another special constitution? That did not seem right. What was special about him was his soul. However, his current level of talent was indeed only above average. Eighth level of the heaven realm, it was nothing special. Furthermore, he could not even exert that level of strength. Chu Zan was not surprised. After all, he had been nourished by the spiritual fruits and herbs, and his cultivation had risen rapidly. It was normal for him to be a little weak. Shui Ping was not young either, he was over 300 years old. Shui Ping's potential was far worse than Yi Lingling's. At 300 years old, Yi Lingling had already reached the 16th level of the Dao realm. Compared to a genius like Yi Lingling, Shui Ping was no doubt a loser. However, in the heavenly sun world, he was considered a mid-level genius. In any case, fate had led him here, so Chu Zan knew that Shui Ping was qualified to become his disciple. He just did not know what those qualifications were. This was the drawback of him not knowing much about the heavenly sun world. He had too many blind spots in terms of his knowledge. Helpless, he could only summon Lai Tian. Lai Tian was stunned. He was in a deep sleep, thinking about how to recover, but had been suddenly summoned and whisked away by Chu Zan without a word. While Shui Ping was drowning in his apprehension, he suddenly saw a head flying over. He was so scared that his face turned pale and he staggered two steps backward. Lai Tian also noticed Shui Ping and suddenly understood why Chu Zan was looking for him. He circled around Shui Ping, examining the latter closely. Chu Zan raised an eyebrow. Could it be that Lai Tian, this old monster, did not know what kind of special talent Shui Ping had? That would make things quite troublesome. Shui Ping, you're quite special. You have unparalleled talent, but you just haven't realized it yet. Chu Zan took advantage of the gap in Lai Tian's thoughts and said, Fate has led you here. As such, are you willing to become my disciple? No matter what, he just had to accept this disciple. Shui Ping was stunned. This senior wanted to take him in as a disciple? Furthermore, he said that he was very talented. After taking a look at the head, Shui Ping knelt down. Disciple Shui Ping greets master. Thump, thump, thump. He forcefully kowtowed three times. He was afraid that if he did not acknowledge this senior as his master, he would be destroyed. No matter how he looked at it, that head was terrifying. Su Shenner came out from the wooden house and stood beside Chu Zan. Sir, you're taking in a disciple again. Shui Ping looked at Su Shenner and immediately kowtowed again. Disciple Shui Ping greets master's wife. Su Shenner was startled, but also secretly happy. She casually gave him a divine sword. The corners of Chu Zan's mouth twitched. Shui Ping seemed to be quite good at taking advantage of situations. 
After giving out the divine sword, Su Shenner corrected, I'm not your master's wife. I'm his maidservant. You can just call me Sister Su. Thank you for the reward, Sister Su. When Shui Ping received the divine sword, his heart filled with shock. It had been worthwhile to call her master's wife. You may rise, Chu Zan said. Chapter 746 Shui Ping, Part 2. Shui Ping stood up respectfully. Now that he had become this person's disciple, he was wondering who and what kind of person his master was. Also, there was that strange flying head, perhaps he was a great devil. Li Tian's eyes suddenly lit up as he stared at Shui Ping with burning eyes, which caused the latter's hair to stand on end. Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul. Li Tian exclaimed in shock. Chu Zan raised an eyebrow. Old man, tell Shui Ping what is so special about him. Don't try to make it sound so mysterious. Li Tian rolled his eyes. This guy did not even know what it was, but he pretended to know everything. After accepting Shui Ping as his disciple, the system presented him with a reward. To Chu Zan's surprise, the system did not reward him with a cultivation technique this time. This also meant that Shui Ping's talent did not require any special cultivation technique. You took Shui Ping in as your disciple. He has a form of supreme talent. You have been rewarded with a myriad supreme record. Chu Zan looked at the reward's description. The myriad supreme record contained the various types of supreme talents and constitutions throughout the eras. In a sense, it made up for Chu Zan's lack of knowledge in this aspect. Chu Zan received his reward and quickly found the myriad supreme record's description of the Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul. The Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul is a special talent, Lai Tian said. It said that one needs to experience nine great calamities before they can fully awaken and unleash their talent. Once they unleash their talent, they have the potential to reach the peak of the Tao's supreme realm. However, if they fail to survive the calamities, they will die. Chu Zan looked at the record's description and realized that it matched what Lai Tian said. The owner of the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul indeed needed to go through nine great life and death calamities, and would undergo Nirvana after surviving each calamity. If they survived all nine calamities, they would not suffer any cultivation setbacks before the Tao creation realm, and would eventually be capable of reaching the peak of the Tao supreme realm. With this kind of special talent, it's destined to be difficult for him to fully unleash his innate talent. After all, if he's not careful, he will die during the great calamities. Fortunately, people with the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul were blessed by fate, and would not die easily. However, it was also destined that the process of Shui Ping's development would be arduous. Moreover, having a strong fate did not mean that one could not turn misfortune into fortune. It's rumored that there was once a Tao Supreme Realm expert who possessed the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul. He was the only person known to have passed the nine great tribulations, though he was from before my era. In my generation, there was an expert who had undergone seven nirvanas, and was a Tao creation realm expert. However, because he had only undergone nirvana seven times, he was unable to break through to the Tao supreme realm. Shui Ping was stunned as he listened. His heart was in turmoil, and he was unable to calm himself down. I actually have an extremely powerful talent. However, he had to go through nine tribulations and complete nine nirvanas before he could fully awaken his talent. Furthermore, what was the Tao creation realm? What was the Tao supreme realm? He only knew about the Saint Tao realm, and the Saint Tao King realm. There were rumors of a holy Tao realm expert, which was a true peak existence, but the Tao creation and Tao supreme realms, this was completely unheard of. He realized that his knowledge of the world was still too shallow. Could it be that his own master was such a transcendent existence? What a great opportunity. It did not matter whether he was a demon or not. In this world, being strong was the most important thing. Shui Ping's heart was filled with excitement. The nine Nirvana Heavenly Souls owner indeed needed to go through nine life and death calamities and undergo nine Nirvanas to fully awaken their talent. However, what was not apparent to everyone was that the owner of the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul did not have to rely on himself to survive those calamities. In fact, with the protection of an expert, it was possible to complete the nine Nirvanas within a short period of time and successfully awaken their talent. There was a detailed description of this in the Myriad Supreme Record, as well as how to go about it. After Lai Tian finished talking, Chu Zan chimed in, smiling mysteriously. Old man, you are correct. However, it's actually not difficult to awaken the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul. Lai Tian shot him a glance. If it was really that easy, why would most cultivators with the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul be regarded as trash? Because of its special nature, the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul was only highly regarded once they underwent a certain number of Nirvanas. As for those who had not, they were trash, and were treated as such. In history, there had been many cultivators with the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul who could not undergo Nirvana and eventually became ordinary and mediocre existences. There were only two or three in history who had truly become experts. Lai Tian was confident that Chu Zan's knowledge and vision could not compare to his. Chu Zan's understanding of the Heavenly Sun world, as well as the various unique talents this world had, was far too lacking. Chapter 747 9 Nirvana Heavenly Soul After all, he had once been a Tao creation realm expert and was a native of the Heavenly Sun world. How could Chu Zan, 
a guy who came from the chaos, compare to him in terms of knowledge of the Heavenly Sun world. In terms of knowledge of the chaos, Lai Tian knew that he was inferior to Chu Zan. However, he would not concede to Chu Zan on his home turf. If I'm not wrong, you've encountered a life and death crisis and survived, Lai Tian looked at Shui Ping and said. Given your current level of talent, I would hazard that you have probably undergone Nirvana twice or thrice. Shui Ping was shocked. Now that he thought about it closely, after he encountered a life and death crisis, he realized that his cultivation speed had increased. Even his understanding of cultivation techniques improved. Previously, he had attributed it to enlightenment from his near-death experiences, but now it seemed that it had something to do with this nine Nirvana heavenly soul thing. I only remember experiencing a life and death crisis once prior to this one. However, I once heard from my elders that I almost died when I was young, but I managed to survive in the end, he said as he suddenly recalled something. Three times, including this time, Chu Zan said lightly. Shui Ping nodded his head. He was worried. He still needed to experience six more life and death calamities before he could fully awaken his talent. Six times. There was no way he could guarantee that he would survive every time. It's not difficult to awaken the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul, Chu Zan said. Since you are my disciple, I will naturally help you awaken your talent. Many thanks, Master. Shui Ping was extremely excited. How are you going to help him awaken? Lai Tian asked doubtfully. Chu Zan laughed. Life and death calamities. I'll just create them for him. If it was that easy, that nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul expert back then wouldn't have been abandoned by his family, Lai Tian sneered. Chu Zan glanced at him. This guy seemed very unconvinced. Did he think that just because he was a native expert of the Heavenly Sun world, he knew more about talents than him? Of course, that was true before he received the Myriad Supreme Record, but oh well. Old man, how about a bet? Hum. Lai Tian raised his eyebrows and asked, what are we betting on? I will help him awaken his nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul. If I succeed, you will be my servant. Chu Zan thought for a moment. Lai Tian's brows twitched. Although he was in Chu Zan's hands, he was not Chu Zan's old servant yet. After hesitating for a moment, Chu Zan said, I've changed my mind. A servant is too pitiful. You're a famous expert, after all. How about a subordinate, the kind that is super loyal and obedient? The corners of Lai Tian's mouth twitched. I think you should just start a sect. Since you've already taken in a disciple, I'll be your sect's guardian or elder. Chu Zan felt that it made sense. He had already taken in many personal disciples and in name disciples. He nodded. Then let's call it the Zan Gate sect. It sounds authentic and awesome. Hoo hoo, I've got my own sect now. Lai Tian nodded. Sure. If I lose, I'll be your subordinate. I'll be a guardian, elder, or whatever. But if I win, what can you give me? As for removing the control mark on his divine soul, Lai Tian did not care much about that. He was only left with his head, and there was almost no hope of recovery, so there was no need to fret about such things. If I lose, I'll help you recover your physical body, and then help you recover your strength, Chu Zan said lightly. You can do it. Lai Tian's eyes lit up. Not yet, but I'll be able to in the future. I'll be able to do it within a hundred thousand years, Chu Zan said after a moment of silence. Lai Tian was secretly shocked. This feat would likely require the strength of a Tao Supreme Realm expert, and a strong one at that. The Tao he had created had completely collapsed and disappeared. Creating a second new Tao was far more difficult than the first one. Moreover, his Tao had been destroyed by a Tao Supreme Realm expert, so there were still traces of the Tao Supreme Realm expert's power hindering his recovery, and that power would also interfere with the creation of a new Tao. Recovering his strength was much more difficult than recovering his physical body. Was Chu Zan so confident that he would be able to break through to the Tao Supreme Realm within a hundred thousand years? Or even the Tao Supreme Ruler Realm? It was simply unimaginable. All right, let's bet, Lai Tian gritted his teeth and said. He had nothing to lose anyway, then it's settled. Chu Zan chuckled. This bet would just make Lai Tian's status as his subordinate official. He looked at Shui Ping and asked, Do you want to awaken your talent? The process will definitely be painful. After all, you'll have to go through six near-death experiences. I will do it personally, but will also give you the spiritual medicine to recover after each round. Although your life will not be in danger from my perspective, you will have to experience inhuman pain and suffering in the process. From your end, you will truly feel like dying. Lai Tian laughed. I knew it. If you want to use this method, it definitely won't work. If it was so easy to awaken this talent, it would not be called trash. Chu Zan smiled and did not respond. Someone must have tried this before. However, the reason why they failed was that the owner of the Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul did not truly feel like he had experienced a life or death calamity, and the one executing it had not gone far enough. Furthermore, it would be difficult to pull this off on a Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul cultivator who had not experienced enough life or death calamities. They would simply faint from the pain or give up, thus failing to undergo nirvana. Shui Ping had gone through many hardships in life and death situations. His willpower was strong, so it would not be a problem for him to survive this experience. Shui Ping gritted his teeth and said, Master, I choose to awaken my talent. I can do it. 
he recalled his own life experiences. What was a mere pain in comparison? All right, I'll believe in you then. Chu Zan waved his hand, and a bunch of priceless spiritual herbs appeared beside Shui Ping. This should be enough for you to recover six times. Shui Ping's eyes lit up as he looked at them. They were all top-grade heavenly treasures. Even if he did not awaken the nine Nirvana heavenly soul, with his current talent and these heavenly treasures, he should be able to break through to the divine realm. However, that would be what his previous self would have chosen. Now, he knew about the nine Nirvana heavenly soul, and wanted nothing more than to awaken to his full potential. He wanted to awaken his talent and take back the dignity that belonged to him. He took a deep breath and said, Master, I'm ready. Okay, let's start. After Chu Zan spoke, he acted, and Shui Ping immediately screamed in pain. His physical body suddenly collapsed. Even his divine soul was suffering from the destructive power that Chu Zan was using. It was as if he was on the very edge of death, and would die at any moment. Shui Ping screamed, and his face was contorted in pain. It was a hundred times more painful than any of his previous injuries. He almost felt like his life was flashing before his eyes. The pain overwhelmed his consciousness, and he almost forgot what he was going to do. Lai Tian looked on. He frowned. Something was wrong with Shui Ping. Why did it feel like he was enduring pain that far exceeded what he should feel given the power that Chu Zan was using? Chu Zan explained, actually, it's possible to awaken the Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul with this method. However, it will cause the Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul cultivator an extreme amount of pain. Those who don't have strong willpower will lose consciousness from the pain. Naturally, they will fail their Nirvana if they do so. Lai Tian frowned and asked, why is this so? Chu Zan smiled and said mysteriously, naturally, this is due to a restriction of the transcendent laws. Lai Tian's heart trembled as he looked at Chu Zan in a daze. Because of the limitations of the transcendent laws, the level of pain would be increased by a hundred times when others assisted in the nirvana process? In that case, only those with the strongest willpower would be able to succeed. Chapter 748 Transformation, Part 1 Lai Tian was shocked. He had once been a Tao creation realm expert, but he had never realized the restrictions of transcendent laws. The other Tao creation realm experts of the heavenly sun world had probably not realized this problem either. Perhaps the Tao Supreme Realm experts did, but in their eyes, those who did not experience the calamities were not worth paying attention to, which was why the truth was not spread. Or was there some other reason behind this? Furthermore, how did Chu Zan find out? Lai Tian felt that Chu Zan was becoming more and more unfathomable. In fact, Chu Zan did not mention one point. Since Shui Ping needed to undergo Nirvana six times, the pain he suffered would continue to stack, and each time, it would be a hundred times more painful than the previous time. This was also one of the restrictions of the transcendent rules. If he wanted others to help him in his awakening, he had to have sufficient willpower to withstand the pain. Only in this way could he be judged worthy of the nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul talent. In fact, the nine life or death calamities were also to temper one's willpower. Do you think he can withstand it? Lai Tian looked at Shui Ping. There's a saying that only through suffering can one rise above others. If he can't even withstand this little bit of suffering, how can he become a peerless expert? Who can become a Tao Supreme Expert just by living a carefree life? Lai Tian nodded. Chu Zan's words made sense. Lai Tian himself had also gone through many hardships, fought many battles, and overcome countless crises before reaching the Tao creation realm. Even the descendants and disciples of Tao Supreme Realm experts could not do so. Then, Lai Tian suddenly turned and stared at Chu Zan. Was he not the best example of someone becoming stronger while living a carefree life? I've never seen him cultivate. How does he keep getting stronger, and even more knowledgeable about the heavenly sun world? It was really strange. Shui Ping had already started to absorb the spiritual herbs to recover. He no longer screamed, but gritted his teeth and endured the pain. Gradually, the injuries to his soul recovered and his body began to regrow itself. Lai Tian's eyes flashed. Shui Ping's level of talent had increased. He had really undergone nirvana. This meant that this method worked. Shui Ping eventually recovered, panting heavily. His heart was still gripped by fear. He had almost failed to endure the pain. However, when he examined his body's condition, he could not contain his excitement. His cultivation foundation, which had been unstable due to his rapid breakthroughs, had actually stabilized. Moreover, he could clearly feel that there was something different about his body. Chu Zan did not immediately start the next round. Instead, he said, you still have five more life or death calamities to experience, and each one will be more painful than the last. Do you want to continue? If you can't endure it, it's very likely that you'll die. Even if I save your life, you'll be reduced to a useless piece of trash, and you'll never be able to surpass the heaven realm in your lifetime. Teacher, I choose to continue. Shui Ping gritted his teeth and said. If I really can't endure it, you don't have to save my life, master. Just let this useless disciple pass away instead. Shui Ping's face was filled with determination. I have never admitted defeat in my life. I have never lowered my head. I swear that I will regain my dignity. I will let those who have humiliated and trampled on me look down on me ever again. 
Even if I might die, I want to try. Chu Zan was silent. Shui Ping's determination made both him and Lai Tian see him in a different light. All right, then. Chu Zan nodded. Take it easy for now. There's no need to rush things. With a wave of his hand, spiritual liquid entered Shui Ping's body, restoring him to his peak condition. There's no need to slow down, master, please continue, Shui Ping said with a determined expression. Chu Zan nodded, and then, peefed, Shui Ping's physical body exploded once again, and even his divine soul was being eroded by the destructive power. However, this time, Shui Ping did not scream. Even though his face was twisted in pain, he did not let out a squeak. His gaze remained bright and filled with an unyielding will. This was his only chance to obtain this great opportunity. A chance to take back the dignity that belonged to him. A chance to make the people who had once humiliated him kneel before him. He had to seize this opportunity. Even if he was cut into a thousand pieces and had to suffer the pain of his divine soul being refined, he could not afford to give up. With this conviction, Shui Ping endured the pain, and then he began to absorb the spiritual herbs to recover. Lai Tian sighed as he observed this. How much humiliation and suffering had Shui Ping suffered? Was his desire for revenge strengthening his willpower? If he could hold until his talent was fully awakened, he would definitely soar to the sky in the future and become a Tao Supreme Realm expert. Lai Tian was actually feeling rather envious. The Tao Supreme Realm was something he had only dreamed of at his peak. The legendary Tao Supreme Ruler Realm was an even more distant fantasy. Chapter 749 Transformation, Part 2 The Tao Supreme Ruler Realm was regarded as the end of the path of cultivation, and it was not exactly wrong. At least, so far, there had been no one who had truly surpassed the Tao Supreme Ruler Realm. Legends had it that many Tao Supreme Rulers left the Heavenly Sun world and entered the Void region in order to seek out opportunities to break through. However, no news of them had even returned. Shui Ping's second Nirvana was a success. His expression became more and more determined, his willpower had also become stronger. Master, continue. Chu Zan raised an eyebrow. This guy seemed to be a glutton for punishment. However, with his strong willpower, it seemed certain that he would become a powerful expert in the future. The third round began. Shui Ping also survived the following rounds, and at this moment, Shui Ping's divine soul was emitting a divine light, which was surrounded by an unfathomable aura. It seemed to be hiding the might of the heavens. The Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul had completely awakened. After awakening the Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul, Shui Ping's cultivation rose to the first level of the divine realm. This was only to be expected, as every time he underwent Nirvana, he would absorb the medicinal power of a lot of heavenly treasures. Although much of it was consumed to restore his body, the remainder was not a small amount, and fueled his breakthrough to the divine realm. Shui Ping knelt on the ground with a thud. Thank you master for your kindness. Without Chu Zan, he would have never achieved this. He could sense the transformation that his body and divine soul had undergone, and felt immense gratitude and excitement. You may rise. Chu Zan remained seated on the chair while Su Shenner massaged his shoulders. I admit defeat. From now on, I'm a member of the Zan Gate sect, Lai Tian sighed. Chu Zan glanced at him and said, it isn't necessarily a bad thing, you know. Lai Tian smiled. Indeed, he had gained an opportunity. Whether he became a guardian or an elder of the sect, Chu Zan would help him recover his strength. Chu Zan had accepted Lai Tian as he needed someone to help him deal with things outside the valley, since he himself could not leave it. Naturally, as a veteran expert of the Heavenly Sun World, Lai Tian was a better fit for this role than his two Heavenly Sun World disciples. Furthermore, as a representative of the Zan Gate sect, he had to uphold the prestige of the sect. Therefore, it was unacceptable for him to be weak. Of course, for the time being, Chu Zan did not need Lai Tian to do anything for him, he was preparing for the future. If Ding Yu and his other disciples transcended the chaos and entered the Heavenly Sun world, they would need an expert to receive them and guide them to Chu Zan's location. All of this would be made easier if Lai Tian recovered to his peak strength. Chu Zan looked at Shui Ping and said, Since you have accepted me as your master, from today onward, you are the eleventh disciple of the Zan Gate sect. Shui Ping was stunned. Eleventh? There were ten senior brothers and sisters before him? I will teach you the sect's techniques now. You must work hard in your cultivation and are not allowed to slack off. Yes, master. Chu Zan pondered for a moment, and then raised his hand and transmitted a technique into Shui Ping's mind. This was a cultivation technique that the system had rewarded him with. It was suitable for Shui Ping's nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul, and could stimulate his talent and display the vast power of the heavens. Shui Ping immediately entered a state of enlightenment after he received it. The more he read through it, the more excited he became. This cultivation technique was too profound and powerful, and beyond his wildest imagination. Even legendary Holy Tao cultivation techniques were probably not as good as this one. Thank you, Master, for bestowing upon me this cultivation technique. Shui Ping knelt down respectfully once again. The Zan Gate sect doesn't have many rules. You cannot kill fellow sect members, cannot kill innocent people, and cannot use your strength to bully the weak. That's all, Chu Zan said seriously. Don't worry, Master. 
I won't break the sect rules or disobey you, Shui Ping said solemnly. That's good. Chu Zan nodded. Next, he began to teach Shui Ping the standard sect techniques, including the movement, escape, aura concealment and disguise techniques. After Shui Ping mastered those, Chu Zan taught him the sword Dao, as well as various other techniques. When he was done, he allowed Shui Ping to cultivate on his own. With a new disciple around, the valley was a little more lively. Lai Tian also halted his secluded cultivation, and began to guide Shui Ping as the latter cultivated, and also passed on some of his secret techniques to him. In the blink of an eye, a hundred years had passed, and Shui Ping had already reached the fifteenth level of the Tao realm. The power of the Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul was clearly displayed here, as he also mastered a large number of cultivation techniques easily. Apart from cultivating, he would pay his respects to Chu Zan every day, take care of trivial matters in the valley, and help Chu Zan plant all kinds of spiritual herbs and fruits. He believed that his master's cultivation realm was too high, and that his master's every move contained the principles of the Great Tao. It might look like his master was planting spiritual herbs like an ordinary farmer, but in reality, his master was cultivating some incredible technique, or so he thought. Shui Ping also discovered that the cat that Su Shenner often carried in her arms was actually extremely powerful, and was not as cute and obedient as it seemed. There was also the mighty sky-shaking rock, which possessed unfathomable strength. In the ancient forest, there was actually a white tiger divine beast as well. He also found three other divine beasts in the valley. All of this filled him with awe and veneration toward his master. The Zon Gate sect was truly extraordinary, he did not know how strong his ten senior brothers and sisters were, but he reckoned that they were not weak. Anyone taught by a peerless expert like Chu Zan could never be weak. After these hundred years had passed, Shui Ping decided to leave and make a name for himself. It was time for him to return and regain his dignity. He was a 400-year-old 15th-level Tao realm cultivator. In the heavenly sun world, he was considered a top-tier genius. Furthermore, Shui Ping was confident that he would be able to reach the Tao Yuan realm in less than 200 years. Chu Zan sat on the chair and glanced at Shui Ping, who was planting spiritual herbs. It was obvious that this kid was itching to leave on an adventure. This disciple of his was not someone who could endure boredom. Moreover, he had been suppressing his anger and wanted revenge. Now that he was strong enough, he was finding it hard to contain himself. Nine Nirvana Heavenly Soul Cultivators were born for a life of adventure and challenge anyway, so it was time to release him into the world. Perhaps, he would be able to trigger the system's reward. It had been so many years, yet Yi Lingling had not triggered the system's reward, which made Chu Zan rather helpless. Suddenly, your disciple, Yi Lingling, killed a Saint Dao King in an ancient ruin and obtained a fragment of the Wuxian Monument, shocking the world. You have been rewarded with 10,000 years worth of cultivation. Suddenly, the system's reward came. Chu Zan was stunned. Yi Lingling killed a Saint Dao King? The nine levels of the Saint Dao King realm were equivalent to the first through nine extreme Dao Yuan realm. Yi Lingling was indeed a domineering figure, and seemed to be obsessed with destroying the Heavenly Pavilion wherever she found them. This time, she even managed to obtain a fragment of the Wuxian Monument. He wondered what she was going to do with it. Chu Zan suddenly became interested. Derive the location of the Wuxian Monument fragments in Yi Lingling's future over the next hundred years. Chu Zan used the system's derivation function. A series of images appeared in front of him as the function was activated. In the images, there was a broken ruin with a powerful force that formed a restriction formation. Yi Lingling killed a cultivator and took a piece of jade from the ruin. After that, she was attacked by several experts. The scene continued, and Yi Lingling escaped and was chased by the experts of the Heavenly Pavilion. Thirty years later, Yi Lingling was attacked and injured, she escaped and accidentally entered a dangerous place, she was trapped there and even after the hundred years of derivation were up, she remained there. Chu Zan frowned. That dangerous place was unusual, and Yi Lingling would probably be in danger. Furthermore, that place seemed to have been created by some old monster. Chu Zan did not continue the derivation. Instead, he turned to look at Shui Ping, who had just finished planting some spiritual herbs, he had a plan in mind. Chapter 750 Another Disciple Sets Off, Shui Ping. Yes, Master, it's time for you to go out and explore the world, and also discover your own Tao. I also have something for you to do, Chu Zan said seriously. Shui Ping was inwardly jumping with joy, he could finally go out. Master, just say the word. A jade talisman then appeared in Chu Zan's hand. It looked ordinary, but somehow also exuded an aura of mystery. Thirty years later, your senior sister will encounter a crisis and be trapped here. Chu Zan transmitted the location of the dangerous place into Shui Ping's mind. Take this talisman with you and go in there to save your senior sister. Shui Ping took the jade talisman in a daze, thirty years from now? Chu Zan nodded and then said, just don't forget. Shui Ping was shocked. Could his master see the future? Otherwise, how would he know such information? Just who was his master? Yes, master, I will definitely accomplish this, Shui Ping said solemnly. Master, may I know who this senior sister is? Yi Lingling. Shui Ping's eyes widened in shock, 
spirit goddess, Yi Ling Ling? The spirit goddess, who had come out of nowhere and caused trouble for the heavenly pavilion was actually his senior sister. Chu Zan raised his eyebrows. It seemed that Yi Ling Ling had made quite a name for herself in the outside world. Why is she called the spirit goddess? Chu Zan was curious about how Yi Ling Ling got her nickname. Her nickname came from the heavenly pavilion, as she has the ethereal spiritual constitution, Shui Ping replied. Chu Zan understood. The heavenly pavilion had still yet to realize the true nature of Yi Ling Ling's constitution, which had resulted in this error. Now that you know, don't forget. Be at that location in 30 years. Chu Zan did not say much more. Master, what's senior sister Yi's rank? Shui Ping asked curiously. She's the tenth, I accepted her as a disciple a thousand years ago. Where are the other nine senior brothers and sisters? They will naturally appear when it is time. Although Shui Ping was curious, he did not pursue the matter. Over the next few days, Shui Ping made preparations for his journey. He grabbed a number of heavenly treasures from the valley. There was no lack of them there anyway. The other sects and major families all gave life-saving trump cards to their descendants and personal disciples when they went out to explore the world, so Shui Ping walked up to Chu Zan shamelessly. Master, do the disciples of the Zan Gate sect receive any life-saving trump cards? Chu Zan threw out a few jade talismans. Take it easy. Don't provoke strong enemies just because you have something to protect your life. If you're weak, you won't even get the chance to use your trump cards, Chu Zan warned him. I understand, Master. Shui Ping accepted the jade tokens excitedly. Then, he turned around and went to look for Lai Tian. This kid is really talented at taking advantage of others, he's probably going to ask Lai Tian for some trump cards as well. Chu Zan was not bothered by this. Everyone had their own unique personalities, after all. Furthermore, although Yi Lingling did not ask for any trump cards, Chu Zan had secretly prepared some for her. After all, she was his disciple, and there was no way he was going to let her be bullied by the old monsters out there. Soon, Shui Ping left, and the valley returned to its quiet state. Lai Tian once again resumed his secluded cultivation, and Chu Zan continued his carefree life. He took out the heavenly Dao talisman and tried to communicate with the chaos, but it was to no avail. Derive the current state of the chaos. Chu Zan had no choice but to use the derivation function to understand the situation in the chaos. In the image projection that was generated, the chaos had expanded countless times. The divine world was like a bright pearl in the center of the chaos furthermore, the heavenly Tao laws were making good progress in devouring the supreme laws. The heavenly Tao's growth was also on track. All in all, it could be said that the chaos was developing smoothly as usual. He thought of the other two huge chaoses. After the remaining smaller chaoses fused, it would naturally collide and fuse with those two as well. Once that was complete, the chaos would finally be whole again. It was during the collision and fusion with these two larger chaoses that the heavenly Tao would face its true test. Whether or not it could become the great Tao of the entire chaos would depend on this. The outcome was still full of uncertainties, as the other two larger chaoses had a higher upper limit, and their inhabitants would no doubt be stronger as well. Therefore, the heavenly Tao needed experts to protect it as it devoured the supreme laws of the other's chaoses. In any case, this would take a long time, so Chu Zan was not too worried about it at the moment. He had enough time to become stronger. Chu Zan then observed the origin Great Tao, which had grown rapidly within the Void Region. There was still a long way to go before it encompassed the Void Region around the chaos, but at the rate it was progressive, things were looking positive. Furthermore, as the origin Great Tao grew and fused with the Void Region, it seemed to have undergone some special changes.